Is it gay to suck your own dick? Many of the greatest philosophers known to man have failed to answer this question. For me, it's quite simple. Is jacking off gay? Of course not. So why would sucking on your own penis be gay? Think about that. The next time you're alone and naked. Hey, look, it's a little dead meme. Hey, what's up? Hi. Oh, hey. God, I'm gonna rope. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Dude, this nude fucking... How's it going? Are you beating off under the desk, sir? Oh, God, I'm gonna rope. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hey. <laughs> you think I'm not, gonna continue, I'm not gonna continue the show until the audience responds. Right. Um, so how, how's everybody doing? That's fair. A bit of a problem, Chris. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let, let him respond. That's fair. Hey, hey, everybody. How's everybody doing? Um, no, shh. No, you thought you interrupted again. Hey, everybody. How are you doing? I guess they're not here, so I guess we'll just close up shop. Yeah. I don't hear him. It's been good. Like, you know. <laughs> I would admire somebody who did that though for real. <laughs> like, yeah. Chris gets upset enough that he's like, if you guys don't respond, I won't continue. I'm dead serious. <laughs> I'm not I'm not even remotely kidding. It's like Chris, they can't respond. No, you don't understand. You don't get it. I would feel it. I would know if they did or not. They want to talk to me, I think. So talk to me, please. I'm here. Listen, <laughs> uh, TikTok is being banned, I think. I, is that real? Not it's necessarily. How, let me, let necessarily. me explain to you what's happened. Let me see what's happened. Okay, so f- what happened is it made it to, from I was missing, it was the Senate. And it got more votes than I think anything has in like the last maybe century. But votes for what? What exactly are they representative? Proposing? It was like eighty-one of represent House of Representatives. Representative, House of Representatives, I think it was, and it was eighty-one votes. That has not happened on anything in a very, very long time. Well, so people are the- like, "Huh?" <laughs> people are like, "What?" You know what is, is confusing? Going on? What is confusing is the amount of Democrats that supported this uh, bill because. Oh. I guess that's confusing. It, it, what's confusing about it is because the reasons why the Republicans want this. They want this because TikTok is majorly helping um, Biden. The Liberal Party. Okay. And yeah. it's also, yeah, just, just the left in general. And it's also helping with uh, the, you know, kind of the, you know, pushback against the Zionist rhetoric that's trying to, you know, that's like mainstay in the mainstream, like, or legacy media. So they just yeah. kind of want to put that shit to bed. So... The crafty way of it, of not banning free speech, right, is by saying this is connected to, you know, the CCP and it's dangerous. And so we're going to force China to sell it or it's going to be banned in the United States. So that's the way that mm-hmm. they're playing it. And so China and obviously all the people like the head, that dude that's from, uh, where is it from? Singapore? Singapore that got it there blatantly yeah. racist too a lot. Well, of course. I mean, a why lot. wouldn't they be? They <laughs> think they lot. think all Asian people are the same. They don't know that there's, they think there's a China and a Japan. They don't know that there's anything else. And they're like, what? Singapore, was that your name? What is that? Like, I, I, stop saying that's that. That's out of pocket. <laughs> stop that's stop, stop saying pocket. that. Yeah. Yeah. Was that but a you music know genre? True, what is, what is, is that? that your name? <laughs> it's like Singapore? <laughs> Singapore. <laughs> I don't care about your stupid name. I care about the the communism in the TikToks and shit. Singapore, what, this nigga crazy. <laughs> what's so stupid about TikTok is that it is ninety eight percent fucking fourteen year olds dancing. That is what TikTok is. It is like to an insane and then degree. The other two percent is just like everything else. It is wild how much of it is just people dancing. Yeah. That like t- to act like it is anything else other than that. As far as like what it is majorly, just like when you think about Facebook, fa- Facebook is majorly fucking Gen Xers fumbling through media and thinking that they they hit the gold, the like the gold, like the jackpot. The They're like, oh, mode. this is here's the real, this is the real news, and it's just some fucking dumbass that fucking literally is missing his eyes, and he's fucking like selling some creams to you or some shit. And it's like it's fucking crazy. <laughs> 
I'm just, okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not going to laugh too much because that is just ridiculous. He's missing his eye. <laughs> yeah, I thought about it for a second. That is insane. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, he has can't two see? Eye, he has two fucking eye patches. And he's he's double. He's dual wielding <laughs> eye patches. That's crazy. And that he's telling you like point. it is. This it fucking asshole is going to be just like... Get him- what? Just get him sewn shut. Just get him fucking <laughs> just, melted shut. Nah, like, I have two eye patches, bro. <laughs> you don't get it, Chris. Cool. You wouldn't he's get it, Chris. He's also got two parrots and shit. And then he's like, it's yeah, Joe parrots. Rogan invited me on the show. I'm going to be on. I'm going to be. I'm actually, for the first time in history, I'm going to be a co-host of the Joe Rogan podcast. The first one <laughs> ever, dude. This guy just makes a lot of sense, Jamie. I mean, I never really Jamie thought about it. <laughs> he's blind, never, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, he's, I never he's really thought about gay, the Jamie. moon. The moon actually being a golf ball. That's why it looks so small. It's not. It's not. Dude, the, the moon's not real. <laughs> I saw you going ham on him last night, dog. I saw I, you going ape shit on Joe Rogan last night. I, and I was can't, like, Damn. dude. It's like somebody that you you know. Everybody has this at a certain point, like uh, where they have somebody that they actually um, respect, someone that they actually look up to, or whatever. Because what he used to do. I felt was very valuable and used to be very reasonable and very also like just just in reality about things. And now it doesn't make sense for him to grift because his money's coming from Spotify, which Spotify would pay him a shitload of money regardless. Just like there's sports podcasts out there that get almost just as much as Joe Rogan. And so him grifting to the right doesn't make sense for him to do it. So he's genuinely just got infected by this weird woke culture war thing. And he's lost his fucking mind to the point where he sounds like Fox News. Fox News. He literally sounds like Fox News where I posted that thing where he was shitting on Biden saying, oh, did you hear what he said about the Civil War in the airports? If anybody says that, they should be removed from their job, like any job, any position. Then they oh, find yeah, out yeah. that right Trump said it and Biden was quoting Trump. And then he's just like, oh, uh, well, Trump just fucked up. And that's all he had to say. Didn't say remove fucking Trump's bitch ass like Trump's unfit. Yeah, just, oh, you fucked up. That, that's who he is now. Pretty, it's pretty obvious, like hackery. You know, um, it's it very bothers me because I think yeah, Joe Rogan is not an extremely. Idiot. I don't. I don't think he's a dumb well, person. He seems I just like think he is that now. That's for, the you thing. Know what's crazy. I think the nature is that a lot of people from the uh, the comedic the comedians, right? I think a lot of them they are at a point right now where comedy is at a very weird place where the world is changing, but I feel like the comedic nature of a lot of people are not properly ready to change with it at times, which feels very strange. Cause I think the world, I think the, the, not the, the world is changing, not so much comedy. The world is changing. You know, there's a lot more going on. There's a lot more mar- mar- marginalized groups out there than there were ever previously. And I feel like comedians, all of all of the older ones, like when we were younger comedians, all of them are just kind of jackasses about the nature of just all of it. They're all kind of just like, I don't like this. I can't say what I want to say, but it's like, dude, that's been the nature of the world. The world changes, you know. But Once upon a time, we can go up on stage and call a black person an N word on stage and get laughs. I'm making a bunch of N-words. Like, that, that was comedy. I've listened to 1950s comedy. It's wild. It's funny. It's funny because it's wild. So, and it's just yeah, like, that, it changes, that argument, you know? Though, it's, it does change. It, and you're right about that. There are these major changes. But the stuff that they're typically talking about, they're all lying. Because they can still say everything. And what, what right. we've learned they can over still say the past few years. What hap- I, I agree. I agree, Derek. I think you're 100% mm-hmm. right. I'm sorry to interrupt you. You're right. Mm-hmm. But what happens is that now it's not fucking it's funny anymore. Because now it's just like, you could have done it, a better job than that. It is no, to actually, their audience actually, that they this, cater to. They, yeah, they still think I, it's funny. Yeah. It's just that's it's true. Just that I don't lie. understand. I, I've talked about this before, but I don't, I don't, I don't like the idea that like people are like, oh man, they're doing like their seventh comedy special where they talk about how they can't say any of the, any of the things that they're saying. But it's like, you're doing it. You're still you're doing on it. Netflix <laughs> saying it. Like, you're it's doing fine. it. Like you're not, <laughs> it's not like you're shouting the N word into the crowd at random people or like dude, pulling Kramers. Yeah. You know uh, what I mean? You're not glorious. You're not Which doing anything be- like you're <laughs> just doing, you're doing basic edgy stuff that some people outside of the audience, when it gets to those people's eyes or whatever and, and gets to those people's ears, they don't like it. And then you're mad that they don't like it, but they're, they're not your target audience anyway. Why do you care if they like it? 
Yeah. It's very, I don't know. I don't, I don't, uh, it's, I don't it's know. It's cheap. Weird. You know, Joe, Joe Rogan still follows me. I wonder if I get. <laughs> Oh, he does. <laughs> you don't want to yeah. If I if I started I my old account, yeah. I would have messaged him along. Dude, do me <laughs> do me a favor. Do me a favor. Because I I know he remembers me. Like I've had multiple interactions with him. Be like, hey. nah. At Spam this point, you probably face could, at him. It just <laughs> just be like, hey, remember me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Derek has beef with you. Get him back on the podcast, and then I want to dress up. I want to dress up exactly like Joe Rogan. I'm going to get a bald cap on and stuff. That is so unnecessary. I want to be like, I want to, I want to get, so I want to just do exactly like him and just be, you know, um, and, and just see what he thinks of it and see if it, you should really shave your head though is what you should do. I Jamie, mean, I would, I actually, I've actually, <laughs> I've thought about it cause I don't do anything special with my hair. And I think, why do I have hair? If I, especially if I use a hat? Have hair? Well, cause it's like, I, I mostly wear a hat and I'm like, why do I even, why yeah. am I doing anything with my hair at all? So, I, I have thought about buzzing it off again. So, yeah, just shave it straight up bald, clean, and do a Joe Rogan thing. But I have been trying to get a hold of him, and uh, I just – he doesn't check his social medias anymore because for an obvious reason, he the amount of people that started shitting on him. Because if you go back um, uh, post-pandemic, he still would check his social media. He's still, Now his whole narrative is, oh, you can't look at any of that stuff. And I'm like, oh, I wonder why, dipshit. The, anyone who fucking just never looks at their social media at all, it's usually there's a fucking very specific reason. You're making shit that's upsetting a lot of people, and you don't want to sift through it to find the good shit. And so, like, I'll have moments sense. where I, I say something. Like, for example, if I do talk shit about Joe Rogan, I know it's going to be half and half. It's going to be people that are like, oh, they agree, and then there's going to be the people that so search up Joe Rogan or they see the trends or whatever, and they're going to find that post and start saying shit like, that has no basis in reality. Like they act like I was like, how do you watch Joe Rogan and not agree with what I'm saying? It's I'm even I'm saying he's complete. He's a complete rhinoid now. And aren't wouldn't you be like yes? And I love it. Wouldn't you just isn't that what you're supposed to say? I think you're just supposed to be like yeah, it, it fucking rules. He, everything he says, I love. Shut up. And I'd be like yeah, fair enough. That yeah I, I yeah. <laughs> you, you Solid counter argument. Solid counter argument. Like, Solid. No, he's. <laughs> He's fucking, so, he's still liberal or something, I guess. Some bullshit. That's crazy to think. That's, yeah, that's it, crazy. Yeah. But it's, so, uh, <laughs> so yeah, TikTok's probably going to be, TikTok is gone. Yeah, I don't know. Is it going to be TikTok's gone, gone today? It's, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's, yeah, don't check it. Don't even look. Don't, TikTok don't got even thick try cocked, to look. man. Got thick cocked. It's really sad. If you look, it's just uh, Chinese cal calligraphy. Um, where, where the that's app crazy. used to be. That's all it is. Like it's just something. That's wild. It's just a picture. It's just a. Um, it's just. Chinese it's just a picture of um. What the hell is that nigga's name? Uh, Xi Jinping. Is that Xi right? Xi Jinping. I don't know if that's right. Xi Jinping, whatever his name is. I don't think it's. I don't think there's my a single in there. favorite human on the planet. <laughs> this sounds, man. This sounds racist, but it's like it's not. It's literally I'm like I'm trying to pronounce his name. <laughs> it's like trying to pronounce anybody <laughs> else's name, <laughs> but it has. This it sounds has the, racist, but it's because not because it has the intonations of how what people say when they make fun of like uh, Asian languages. So, but I'm like, but his name is actually. Let me let me see if I can. Uh, no, but he's actually Xi Jinping. Like actually, it's not Xi Jinping. It's it's Xi it's Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. Okay. That was close. Gijon is a it's close. A, this, that's close. It's insanely but, close. <laughs> it's close. This, I, I pretty much got one letter wrong. I said Gigi Ping. Normally, I'm being racist, I'll but say, like actually, like, it's close. Jinping. 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 What is a... Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Bing Chiling. There we go. Bing Chiling. <laughs> Normally, I'm, I'm actually kind of disappointed. Like, When's the last time uh, John Cena started simping for uh, uh, the CCP? Like it's been like he did it one time. He's an he actor had a now. lot of money on the line. He did it one time. Everybody <laughs> won't leave him alone about it. <laughs> because he did it, it was one crazy. single time. He, he apologized really Chinese, for though. acknowledging that Taiwan is a country. <laughs> Bro, you know how they get about that though. Like that especially so Taiwan. You got especially yeah, you gotta, Taiwan. You know how they get about that. Bro, I'm not even coddle. defending China, but you know how they get about that. You, you know gotta, gotta get about Taiwan in particular. You gotta coddle them a little bit. Otherwise, they'll throw a tantrum. They'll fucking flip out. They'll run over a guy with a tank again. It's a whole thing. <laughs> they get upset with that. That dog. is wild. One of my best friends is Taiwanese, and literally, <laughs> like, they get really upset about that. Well, they don't who, like it. <laughs> who wouldn't huh? be? Who would? Yeah, it's. I don't know. It's fucking weird. I think it's the same. And it's in the same vein <laughs> oh, as like man. Putin being like, "Oh, all these countries, all these sovereign countries. No, it's still ours." That's still ours. It's That's technically mine. <laughs> yeah, like the, what, do you, what do you mean? Like those are our countries, and as of right now, I'm what actually trying to take. 
<laughs> one of my parts of my country back, and it's taking way longer than I thought. That's mine. Yeah, think- what are you talking? Why are you touching <laughs> that? That's mine. That's mine. I Weird. saw. Stop touching people that. Are like, <laughs> people are like children, man. So I saw this. Um, man, I saw this interview with uh, one of because the the Halo season two show is going on, right? Yeah, and it's right now. It's like. They're about to air like the last episode, I think, next week or something. <laughs> and I saw this interview that really fucking blew my mind because it's like the 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 head of some so, Kiki Wolfkill. I recognize that name from a long time ago. She was like head of three four three or something a while ago. Mm. She's giving an in- interview about like you know how it's like oh man it's it's really it's really important that we see the dichotomy between John and the Master Chief and his relationship to the to the Master Chief as an alter ego and it's like. It's not an alter ego, but cool. It's very, very sick. Yeah, it's it's him. How and much his does it, armor. Hurt? it is wild. It's it, literally it him and his fucking do- armor. You know what? It's, you know what's <laughs> crazy? It, it doesn't. It doesn't even anymore. I'm just the like I'm just really. Chief it's kind of like Chief. like it I'm watching. I, like I'm watching. It's almost like I'm watching. <laughs> it's almost like I'm watching a minion get hit by cars on a freeway over and over again. Where it's just like I'm not angry about it. I'm just baffled at what I'm seeing. Yeah, and yeah, baffled yeah. that this situation even happen is happening in the first place. That's crazy. That there's she a said lot. That. Yeah, I just I don't know. It's like it's like it, it just like she's watching the mask and fucking Jim Carrey. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, it's not spi- at- yeah, it's, <laughs> this isn't like, Spider Man. <laughs> this isn't Spider Man. This is that would be like it was like that would be like making a movie about Joe Biden gra- grappling with his alter ego as the president. The president. Like, it's, it's like there's no there's no <laughs> that's crazy. there's no alter ego. That's the same person. That's his fucking no, title. It's just his goddamn there's title. There's no there's no John. John that's is the a person. Thing. There's no there's, John. Okay, there is one <laughs> defense that I think this is fair. Now because it is a series, there is downtime. It's not like John. It's not like the Master Chief is in his fucking armor at all times, obviously. Right, right. Right. So, like, yeah. there is I, – I, I've accepted that there's going to be times where, like, even him getting if, – if you're watching the show at all, this ain't a spoiler, but him getting no, caught yeah. in a fight with his armor off, I'm like, that literally could happen. It's just like watching any war movie. Yeah, there's yeah. times where people get flanked or anything, get caught by surprise or anything, um, ambush. And so I'm like, okay, fine. But her saying that, like, as if – this is a different person because his armor's the, not on. Yeah, is yeah. The, 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 thing is, the thing is that the, the thing is this right. <laughs> what happened is she's trying. She's trying to talk superhero about a right. character yeah. uh-huh. that He's isn't not a like that. It's not Batman. It's not Tony Stark. This nigga's a soldier. It's not Spider Man. You, know, you know who? You know who Master Chief is? He's Thor, literally. Like he barely, that's barely. That is what he is. He's more on the job than Thor is most of the time. I no, but that's like. what I'm saying. What I'm saying <laughs> is like Thor is Thor. Thor isn't like oh right, he's like, like a mantle. He's Wesley. just Thor. Like a mantle. He's not like, right, he's not right, like right, Wesley right, right. in the daytime. Also Mjolnir. But there's yeah. Okay, you're yeah. right. It, it's, it's just <laughs> it, I, I don't. It's just so silly. It just kind of blows my mind that people got to the point where they're in charge of these things and they, they don't fundamentally understand. Because I've been watching the show because I've been making this video for fucking years. <laughs> I've been writing this video. And the season two's out, and I was like, I might as well just put season two in there. So I'm, like, taking notes constantly. And it's just, it blows my mind how often they do something where it's like, ooh, okay, cool. And then they immediately, <laughs> they immediately make it worse. Every episode, mm. there's, like, one thing that's like, okay, good. And then they just rape it. <laughs> it's like for no reason. It's crazy. But yeah, I've the way that I so I've watched four episodes, and the way that I've watched it, I was uh, I was playing uh, Dragon's Dogma in between, and essentially what would yeah. happen is I'm focused on Dragon's Dogma, and then a fight would happen, and then I would watch that, and I'm like, that's a cool scene, and then I would immediately turn away from it again, <laughs> and then like so. Right. <laughs> you so guys are really shitting know. on this show crazy. I haven't watched season two. Season one, I actually I can't deny there are parts of season one I enjoyed because. Simply because I'm like this isn't Halo anymore, right? That's what I'm like. Oh, but the thing is, is, this is decent, you know. I'm but like, that's oh, what I'm saying. It's bad. like it's not. A, what makes it worse is that it's not a terrible show. What makes it worse is that it's disappointing because there are parts of it where I feel like they understand how to make a decent show mm-hmm. and then they rape it, like they willingly, like for no reason, like for no reason. They'll be like, hey, here's a little Asian girl that has nothing to do with anything. Yeah, I, and I just thought throw her, I, just throw her in there. It's not like we have like a sea of characters that could be this person or like we could 
Because I don't know, like, I'm not even against them changing a bunch of shit. Like, you could change, like, timelines or, like, change, like, how sure. people get certain places, whatever. But, like, why invent random... Why, is, why you... is there a... Thank you. Why is there a human with the Covenant just chilling? Like, it's so stupid. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. whatever. No, well, no, dude. I'll, I'll have a, I'll have a seven-hour video about it out <laughs> at some time in the next should, several you months. You really should make a, a video that long. Yeah, you got to make it longer than um, everything. Uh, it won't be seven table. hours. It What's won't that be seven hours. Uh, uh, review Clinton. Quinn reviews. <laughs> Quinn reviews. Yeah, you got to make it. it you got to rival. The, the longest, the longest I would want to make it is like an hour. I would never want to make it longer than an hour. <sighs> that's but not. That's not algorithm friendly, sir. You got to make it at least like more one, one hour and one, one hour and one second. At least. Nah, dude. <laughs> yeah, two hours. That's better. If you two hour it, bro, it's over. You got the. You got the best video ever. Two hours is good because then, like, somebody will probably visit the video about three to four times on average. And it, I mean, it yeah. massively increases your views, obviously, but it's just like, who That's the true. fuck? I, I don't know how people do it, to be honest. I just don't know. Be, it, I, I, don't, I don't have ADHD or anything like that, but still, there's only so much time I want to spend on any project where I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> this is not worth my time. And uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But it's, I guess if you do it, like, say how you're doing it incrementally over um, a, a span of time, then say how people a lot of times will just cram it. And then they'll have editors, and then they just kind of just shitting things out constantly. But I don't know, man. It's whatever, true. It, it works. You know, you, it does. I mean, it does work. It it people are, there's some very successful people doing it. You know, good for them. Uh, but yeah, that uh, it, it I I understand the disappointment with the with with, with Halo because of the, the series because it it's not just dog shit. Because if it was just dog shit, it would have been fun to watch. It would have been right. like um, watching that like, I Resident Evil that series. I, I would have yeah, I would have preferred that it just sucked. <laughs> With Blade, with Blade, <laughs> yeah, with Blade, because like that shit was like we were just talking shit about it the whole time, and then like my eyes lit up when I saw Blade Wesker, Blesker, I guess, and I was like, oh my god, I I was so excited and they canceled it, man. I was that that finally I was like, dude, this is this series is gonna fucking rule if they're gonna focus on Blesker like a lot. Uh, it, what made but, it so know. funny is that I was watching it at my house, and then Chris was staying over. He was like staying over from New York, and it was so funny because he walked in, he was like, is that Wesker? He was like, is that Blade? And I was like, no, <laughs> because it, yes, it is. <laughs> we, it actually we literally, literally is it just Blade. Everyone fucking everyone. I think everybody had that moment when they saw that. They're like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, Blade is Blade is black Wesker and Wesker is his white Blade. His <laughs> white Blade. <laughs> I love Everyone's so Blade unanimous at the same time. It's like, what? I want them to make a series. <laughs> I want them to make yeah, a series but, called White where they Blade. meet, where they meet each <laughs> other, dude, and they're like, the, the, but yeah, like fucking. So, w one example yeah. of this, this whole thing about how this show just drops the ball, and then we'll move on because we got a lot of questions to actually get to. But like, I just thought this was fascinating. It's like a perfect example, and I'm gonna pr probably highlight it in the video where there is this whole thing where they're training the next generation of like Spartan threes to go infiltrate a ship and like basically plug this usb spike into like the main ship and then presumably to like i don't know disable the ship or whatever and that's like kind of what you're led to believe it's like okay you're, we're gonna have spartan teams go in and disable ships and they're like really difficult missions basically suicide missions or whatever but it'll be worth it to to disable the ships or whatever and you find out that what it does is these are like straight up suicide missions where they they plug the thing in and what it does is it overloads the reactor or whatever and basically blows fucking everything up so they're sending these people to die basically yeah and it's like that's cool that's sick that's like exactly something that only that the military in this universe would that's, do that's perfect um, in general actually. and then <laughs> and then they ruin it because they're like the, the, the guy accuracy or whatever he goes in, he's like all right run simulations because he doesn't know what it does and then it so it explodes the ship it explodes it explodes the ship and then he's like expand uh expand uh simulation star system and it destroys a solar system Wait, like that's how big the explosion is, Wait. is that it would destroy an entire solar system. What is system. that shit made out of, dude? <laughs> so, that's what I'm saying. It's like, why do you even need a halo at that point? If you could just if you, you could just th if you're if you're the aliens, you could just th autopilot a ship into human space. And let it go. And just overload it and then destroy uh, it. You don't need a halo at all. This was go. the uh, this was the moment where the, you, you could. Uh, um, the in what was it the the last Jedi? Oh, the, last the whole Jedi thing? light speed through ships. Yeah, the, the whole light speed. Yeah. Um, th that th that was that moment. <laughs> that was that moment where it's like, oh, what is the yeah. point of anything now? <laughs> what is the yeah, point of like anything? You don't. You and, and the whole thing was like, yeah, she wants to she wants to send these these Spartans in to blow up the ship. So like that way it destroys our fleet 
and their fleet and the Halo, so nobody gets the Halo. It's like it, that can destroy the Halo now. What do you? What is? <laughs> I, it's just I don't under I don't know, man. It's it's just because it was fine where where it was. It was if oh okay, it'll destroy like a bunch of ships, like a crazy big explosion. Awesome, that makes perfect sense. But then you just like overpowered for no reason mm-hmm. to the point where it's just like, well, yeah, no, I, yeah, blow up the ri- like, yeah, do it. <laughs> like, why do you need to capture it? Like, yeah, you don't need absolutely to waste destroy anything. it. It's, yeah, it, I don't know. It's it's yeah. It's just it's, aggravating. Man. It's just very Spe- aggravating. It's bad idea. writing. It's like they it's just like, don't why? know the series that they're writing about, and it's it's what makes me so. It, it's it makes people like me that spend my whole childhood reading about these things, and I'm like, oh, this is really cool. For people just come and take it and just shit on it, you know? Nah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's uh, fine. I guess yeah. the. I, I guess it comes down to you know no, normies and people who aren't that into anything because the, this is it's a logic thing, right? Uh, that yeah. they'll just kind of completely overlook it, and it's just this is just a cool series nonetheless, and that's probably what they're just gunning for instead of oh this doesn't make sense. Like who gives a fuck? You know the the average person that we're trying to capture is not going to think twice about that, and that's true, so yeah. they just run with it, and and that's frustrating for people who. Love uh, war films. I don't know science fiction. I don't know how. Anything. I'm just a stupid fucking bitch. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I don't know I'm how. Just a uh, fucking idiot. That's what. That's what it boils down to. I'm just fucking stupid. <laughs> how is season two being received? I like, need to be stupid and I can tomatoes? enjoy things better. That's 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 basically what it needs to be. Like just be like complete dummy. You'll be you'll be good. Yeah, Halo season two has a. <sighs> 94 percent on rotten tomatoes yeah <laughs> so. that's uh it's interesting but so people, there you go <laughs> that's oh, t- interesting speaking of that th- this it, website I where i watch a lot of stuff um uh it it was a nine point something out of it was like at least fifteen thousand votes i think for i just found this out the walking dead is on again but it's um it's uh uh the the the, the thing that Part happened three. post like where oh rick the the whole thing that happened post Walking Dead, it's like it's a continuation. It's still The Walking Dead, but like between uh, Michonne and Rick or whatever. I had yeah, no yeah. fucking idea. I didn't see one anything of. I've seen nobody talk about this. I've seen no trends, but it's on. And then a lot of it's. It was extremely high voted, and I was like, "There's no way. There's no way." And then so of course I got curious, and I watched uh, a couple episodes. And the first episode, I was so upset. I was so mad. Spoilers. I don't, I don't think anybody's going to fucking see this. But, like, Rick is kind of being kept somewhere, right? He can't escape. He tries. And this is how he actually loses his uh, hand because he lost his hand in um in the, uh, in, in the comics. So this yeah, is how he loses his, his hand his, now. His eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You fucking. Oh, but so this guy that, like, got him into the army or whatever, who's kind of keeping him or whatever, there's a moment where Rick could easily kill him in which he. It, the desperate Rick that desperately tried to escape, who cut his own hand off to try to escape because he was in shackles, doesn't kill the guy when he has the chance, and then gets subdued, and then the other. And it's it's so it's one of those things where you get to a moment where like this doesn't make sense. You're just writing shit so lazy to further the plot, and it just made me so mad that like how do people watch this shit? Like there's so many different ways you can do that scene where it's like Rick was gonna try to kill him, but he's immediately subdued or something. Or at least it's believable. But he had him dead to rights. And then at some point, he's not dead to rights. It was like when Michonne, the same thing happened. She had the governor dead to rights and then somehow. He just didn't kill him. Yeah. And it's like, it's it makes me, I'm like, how I can't enjoy this shit because you do dumb shit like this, man. But I guess it goes back to what I was saying about Halo. Just people aren't going to think twice about that, I guess. The, the dummies. Yeah. Stupid assholes that yeah. fucking, that are buying fucking elixirs from the blinded man on Facebook. Like there's yeah, but they also but, but they but they also don't know buying everything he's got. <laughs> I think it's because they don't have the context. You know what I mean? It's like if you don't know that these characters don't exist, <laughs> if you don't know that these characters aren't real and that they're just made up for the show, you're probably thinking like, oh, these are from the game. Oh like, yeah, I, I, yeah, wonder, yeah, yeah, I wonder. I yeah. wonder if my dad thinks Quan is in the game. Is in the game? That's a good. That's an interesting. Like, he, yeah, he that's must. Oh really? Why, that's crazy. That's because, interesting. Like, why wouldn't yeah. he? That is very like, true. Why, I never you even you think your dad that. even cares, though? Like, really? I just think, why do you care? Like, I, I, I don't think my dad honestly, why, cares why necessarily. Care? I think my dad cares necessarily because he doesn't care about fiction in that way. <laughs> like, he doesn't, mm. he doesn't care about, you know, I, he I, loves Superman, but he doesn't 
he doesn't care what the movies are doing now. You know what I mean? He could give less of a fuck about. That's it. the thing. It's like you don't have to. You don't. Ha- it's it's a simpler life to just try to enjoy things. I used to be the kind of guy where I could just enjoy stuff. But what happened is everything I enjoyed became so popular that I didn't have a. Ch- I, all I hear is people saying wild shit about things I love. And I'm like, that's not what happens. That's not what these years of fucking novels and, and, and writings and people and, and just like literal things you could look at. You know, it's like somebody loves science, right? And somebody's being like, yeah, dude, oxygen has four valence electrons. And it's like, no, it fucking doesn't. It has more than that. And then they become... <laughs> And they just hear that over and over again. It's like wrong shit about stuff they know is not that. They have, there's books telling you like, yo, that's not how that works. But this motherfucker's got to hear it every day. People just being wrong about something he's loved for years. You know, that's what I feel what the- like my life has become. Mm. Like, are you, are you referring to something specific though when you're talking about that? Well, because like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like the idea of like a scientist. Example. Okay, I was, just, I was just saying, I was saying just an example. Okay, no, no, no problem. Yeah. I was just thinking, like, if you we were actually, like, referring to something specific. But, yeah, that's just, um, yeah, no, it, it's, it's, uh, it, it, you know, what are you going to do about it? It's, uh, yeah, it, it is what nah, it is. Kill yourself. It, it is what it is. <laughs> you could. You, you definitely you kill could, yourself, man. man. You got to stop trying about that. to kill yourself. Sometimes when I'm really tired, I'm like, you know, you know, it's just like, you're like just when you're really tired, I yeah, would do it, but I'm too scared. You know, <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah, it's yeah. like oh, I'm too pussy. I don't know yeah, what's gonna just, happen next. I'm not. I'm not confident enough to go next. on with it. Damn, hell I have, is uh, real. I have, <laughs> yeah, I have 14 of the same. I have 14 of the same note, but at the end of it, I blame a different person. That's so that on the, so, 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 <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so, then on the day, so then on the day I decided to do it, I'll file style cycle through. I was like, yeah, but I'll, this guy, this person. <laughs> yeah, it's Jeffrey's fault today. Yeah, put it in a meal. <laughs> Can you fucking imagine the the like the degree of psychosis that that would have to that would have to be manifesting for somebody to have m- a multitude of the same suicide note with like slightly different people being blamed, but for the same thing. They have a filing cabinet for them. A, a filing cabinet full. full. <laughs> Full. You pull it on you're like, yo. He blames every American at least once. <laughs> every single American gets blamed at least one time. All right. Let's get into, let's get on to questions. <laughs> thanks for, thanks for making uh, me kill myself, Bradshaw. Jewish Sopranos Bradshaw. be like Shabada Bing. Shabada Bing. I don't think I'm I feel like that's so disrespectful. I don't think I have Bada Bing. Yeah, but I don't know what sh- sh- oh Shabbat. I, okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know, but I've heard it before. I don't know something like. I don't uh, know, it's just it's just the Sabbath. Stop yourself. I, I felt it. I it's like, literally <laughs> it's literally the day of wrath. It's just the Sabbath. Oh, okay. Uh, That's boring. Uh, he says, hello, snark tards. Like, is there go. any place, is there any piece of media you've indulged in that's permanently warped your sense of humor for the worse or better? Personally, I've listened to a lot of Come Town and now I'm damaged beyond repair. Mm. Mm. Um, damage beyond. I mean, I'm not damaged beyond repair from listening to Come Town because all I thought was, oh, this is my sense of humor to it's it's to a T. It is a, um, I know sometimes people say like I, I think there's two different versions of when people talk about mirror image because some people think mm-hmm. about like a reverse, so almost a direct opposite, but some people think it's just you looking back at yourself, so a direct reflection. So it just, I think it depends on your, you know, your interpretation of when you're using it. But I like to say mm-hmm. like a mirror image is uh, in that scenario. I'm like, this is exactly this is exa- the exact complete just, ret- just stupid friends saying the most absurd things about gay shit normally and then bullying the the one guy. Like sometimes there's always a friend that you like to just shit on because he's a, an easy punching bag and, and hopefully he he goes along and then rarely he defends himself and it kind of becomes fun and i'm like this is this is everything that i grew up with so um but i understand if you're kind of like a normie and you start listening to come town or something or even this podcast and then your your sense of humor might be warped by you know yeah it's it, we're we're grown men saying things that 13 year olds say you know so it's like yeah it's I, funny yeah, I though that. it's funny it's I, yeah funny. i'm funny 
<laughs> dumb shit's never not gonna be funny to me. I don't give a. F- I don't like the Honestly. idea of you're supposed to your humor supposed to grow up as you age. I, I just think that's fucking hot horseshit. That would be like, well, what about everything else? What about the music that I listen to? And what about well, no, the that's like, tr- no, that's true though. It, it it does. Ha- it's just a matter of like how much it happens. <sighs> I think I just because you don't more still laugh at jingling keys, do you, Derek? Like you don't like somebody's not gonna jingle keys in front of you know and, and it's gonna funny. bust you up laughing. I don't know if that's funny. I just feel like that is a you know a emo- babies have limited emotions to uh to ex- a, a ways to express just joy and. That's like excitement, and it's yeah, not there's, necessarily there's, like, oh, yeah. this is a joke. This was funny, right? But there's you know? no way that like five year old <laughs> you, even five. I'm not, let's not even take baby. Like, like there's no way five year old you and adult you will find all of the same things funny. Like, there's just well, no way. No, well, sure. Off, I mean, but, but let me but let me give you an example <laughs> of how like how I I have a very vivid memory of my 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 very first friend I ever made, Austin. Uh, I'm, I feel like I might have told this before, but. Uh, we were sitting in my room watching TV, and there was a commercial, and it was like a construction commercial of a guy. His name he he went by Hard Hat Harry, and as my mom's walking by, and I'm like, "Oh, look, it's Hard Hat Peepee," and like you know, she's looking, and she and I'm like, "Oh, sorry." And when I think about that, it still makes me laugh because of how fucking dumb and immature it is. And I feel like it works even more as an adult. Like, imagine calling somebody hard hat pee pee. Like, it's so fucking stupid that it gives me a little chuckle. And I'm like, it's because yeah, funny, like- funny is funny is funny. Like, stupid is still funny. Like, there's a point of time where I feel like everyone is like, oh, that's dumb. That's not funny. But eventually, as you get back to your <laughs> to your older age, I feel like stupid becomes funny again. Just straight up dumb. That's why yeah. I think SpongeBob is like the greatest example of like a show that wasn't funny. And then there are moments now where I watch SpongeBob and I'm like in tears laughing because of how stupid it is. You said it wasn't funny? Like for a period of time, it wasn't funny to me. No, I, I admit that. Oh, like, wow. I was like, this isn't funny. This is kind of lame. And then I look back on it, I'm like, I can't believe I ever thought that. This really? Is hilarious. That's really actually crazy. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I, I was like, oh, this isn't really funny to me anymore. And then I come back and mm-hmm. so I'm like, like that episode where he goes on um, when he's like um, learning how to drive. He's like, yeah, I can't be on an open road. And is this a car crash? And a car flips over? That is an insane moment. And I'm like, this is hilarious. How did I never I, think I, this I, is funny? Yeah, I always thought, my, me and my dad would watch SpongeBob because we both right. thought it was hilarious. I didn't know <laughs> I remember that was, was I remember that was distinct because, like, not, he didn't, he wouldn't watch a lot of cartoons with me, really. Like, it was that at Ed and Eddie he would watch. Yeah, because Ed and Eddie, he was trans. I remember my dad being transfixed by that by that show because he was like, "What the fuck are they doing?" <laughs> like he would walk into the living room and I'd be eating like Captain Crunch, and like Ed would be eating a mattress <laughs> whole. And, and your dad dad's like, like, "Man, I remember back even. in Nam when we had to meet mattresses." Yeah, and, like, we had your to eat dad, mattresses. Like, has, like, a- has a foxhole in your uh, living room, right? In your bedroom. bedroom. <laughs> he has a foxhole in your bedroom. Your dad comes out the foxhole, and he's somehow above you. And he's like, quiet, Chris. I hear the nom. I hear the Viet Cong, Chris. I hear, I hear the VCs like, around the corner. There's VCs outside, Chris. He's got a You're knife like, in his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild, that shit. That's like the not knife, funny at the holding, all, though. Holding, sorry, holding the knife. No, I holding it. a knife with your teeth is such a next level. That is that's crazy. scary, man. <laughs> He's He's trauma. That's <laughs> trauma. That's just like a lot of stuff. <laughs> if you really boil it down to like it's if it, to its like real essentials, you're kind of holding one big knife with a bunch of tiny little dull knives. I, I don't like. I don't like thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, that is interesting. But, yeah. <laughs> tiny little dull but, knives. That's yeah, I don't really know. I don't know if there's sad. any piece of. I don't, know if, I don't know if there's any piece of media that's like SpongeBob that, like, drastically changed. No, I, for me, 100%. maybe. The shit I laugh at I is don't... SpongeBob had such a huge Sp- no Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry had such a formative. Mm. That's why people getting hurt is funny to me because Tom oh, and Jerry was the first one that did it. It's Tom and Jerry, and then it's America's Funniest Home Videos. They I severely why, shaped I, I, who I, I, I don't became. think Tom and Jerry is why you think people being hurt is funny. I, I think, think that's why people I started being it was hurt. Funny. I think people being hurt is funny. Therefore, Tom and Jerry exists. I don't think that's like a. Like, I don't think that's like well, a. No, that's when that I was, true, when I was but little, he's talking about I'd be himself like, that hurt. Right, but that I, him I, watching I Tom and Jerry yeah. made him appreciate people getting hurt. Yeah. Okay, I could see, I could see that, but I, I don't, I don't, I still think you no, would laugh at people yeah. getting hurt without Tom and Jerry. Because when I was little, I was like, "Oh, that person's getting hurt." That's what I would feel. 
Now I'm like, ha 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 ha. It's a, <laughs> it's interesting because <laughs> I've seen I've seen the dichot- the dichotomy of uh, people like say I remember my uh, my friend. So it was like my stepsister's uh, cousin. So they were like step cousins. I don't know what the fuck you would call it. But she yeah. she tripped at school. She fell hard, and her sister was dying. And I was like looking like in horror, like holy shit, that was a hard fall. And so like just seeing like the different levels of how what people think is funny, people falling, getting hurt, versus me, I'm more concerned about their well being. And I'm like, oh, how does that happen? And I think it it is depending yeah. on like I guess what they were watching. And uh, Tom and Jerry's I guess a good example of that. Well, and you know, it's yeah, like it's, you also, it's also that oh, they ahead. probably know, they they just know that person. Like it's always yeah. funnier when somebody you know falls. Yeah, but I knew <laughs> you know them. I mean? too. Like I, knew, but <laughs> yes. I know that they were more they were closer. And maybe there was even a little bit of a maybe that there's a lot of times there's that uh, sibling rivalry. So maybe that's why it was kind of like oh hell yeah you fucking ate shit you dumb bitch kind of a thing maybe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it I, was, eh, I don't know. I remember specifically someone told me, I can't remember who was, I think it was like my uncle or, or like one of my, like some somebody in my family where we were like, we were at some picnic in the park. It was, you, you remember, Kingston, you might know this, like the, mm-hmm. the, the, those like Puerto Rican family reunions in the, in the, of like they would do the barbecues in the park or whatever. And you'd have everybody. And then I remember my grandmother was like sitting in a chair and like her chair fell backwards and <laughs> everybody Everybody was laughing, but I remember being like, "Oh, but she's old." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, and I then my uncle, tur- my uncle, my uncle turned my to me. Falling. My uncle, my uncle turned to me. He was like, "She's got a few more years before it be- before it doesn't become funny." <laughs> is your <laughs> whole family? I, is that your dad's like, side of the family? What that said that like someone on your dad's side of the family? I don't know, I, it's all so mixed at this point that like I don't because I, I know I your know mom who's... and your mom doesn't think something like that is funny. Your mom is like, oh, help that person. That person could yeah, be hurt. Your yeah, dad, probably. I can see your dad laughing himself to tears from that, though. It probably was, yeah, it probably was my dad's family. My dad's, <laughs> my dad's side of the family. <laughs> it's probably one of my uncles, one of his brothers. But, like, he's he's not wrong in that sense where it's like, it does, like, people falling is always funny. But, like, there does be, there there is a point in age where, it, like, it becomes concerned. That's how you sure. know you're old. It's like, if you fall down and people are concerned and nobody's laughing, you're an old person. Yeah, that is true. That's how you know. That's the universal test. But she wasn't old enough at that point, I guess. Yeah. You can also uh, hit somebody with a baseball bat in the back of their head. And no, see really? How yeah. They res- yeah. See how they uh, see what happens, and there, there's different things that can happen that can really. You'll get a different save file. Yeah. Just a slightly you're... different one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I want my grandma to speak Dutch. Well, I'm being executed. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy. I'm being, <laughs> I'm, being bad executed. It, <laughs> I'm being executed by the Imperial Guard in Markarth now. Huh. Dang. You got caught. That's your fault. That's wild. Let's move on. Why Jello wrote and he says, Hello, trans mask, trans femme, and gender neutral beast. When are Chris and Derek going to do the hero song from the Raimi Spider Man movies? <laughs> Love you, Snark Boys. Oh, oh my god. I hadn't thought of that. I hadn't thought of that ever. I, th- I don't know if that's true. I feel like I have a I have a fleeting memory of us saying like and you could say there's a homo something. Oh I, maybe maybe I, hmm. I feel like something. That might be might like a happened. credits thing. There might be somebody who wrote that into the credits. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. That would be yeah. damn, there's there's good there is good shit like flowing in my head right now that could be <laughs> working with it. That's a good song. A the thing is to save he, the thing us. about the thing about the Hero spankers. and Nickelback in general is that that's a difficult voice to do for like you you can do it for certain songs. I, I yeah, can you gotta there. it's it's a lot of growl. Over, I don't know. I got I gotta figure it out. There's something there. Yeah, maybe maybe at some point. Homo told me to come at all, save us. <laughs> I love some pee pee. You know, we'll, we'll figure I'm out. so gay, I can't world, even breathe. Oh, oh. All right, 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 right. of killing, just spilling. I don't know. I don't know. Right, well, yeah, there's, 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 there's power there. There's some power there. There's power there. Dude, there's that actually would be there. funny as fuck. I, that would be it hard would to be, record. Because, like, that would be really whenever you got to get really record. passionate and then you're saying, like, singing gay shit, it's fucking hard to do. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to yeah, do. Yeah, because they're singing their hearts out. That's, that, that's butt rock. Right? Would you guys hear that butt rock? <laughs> 
That's booty rock, man. That's booty. Yeah, that's, that's, that's booty. booty. It's not even butt rock, yeah. <laughs> so you got to, because they care, you know? Like, they really care about their country. So, like, you got to go. Like, if we sing that, if we sing that, I'll practice my lyrics hard enough to be able to try to sing it. Like, I'll really. Pr- I want to hear. hear you got to go falsetto. Kingston, like, Bell. Fa- he can't do falsetto, can he? Let me hear, let me can... hear you go. Ah, ah, ah. Give me one. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, lower, lower. Uh, give me a. Oh, oh. Right, I can better. do it. There you go. That's I, fine. I think oh. if I do it, I'll lose something though. Like if I can get that, like I'll get tired. Like I'll give you guys something I can't get back, but I'm willing to try. And they say that I can't hit. I can't hit that note. They mean no. it, dude. No, you gotta like, do when they're what singing you, that man, music. They, they really that mean that shit. Heat. Hero can save us. That's what you got. You got to go. I'm fucking not like going. I'm not either. I'm not panic gonna the stand. gays. I'm not gonna panic. The g- well, listen, listen, listen. Stand listen, here listen. and gay. I'm not gonna stand here and gay. Stand I'm not gonna stand here and gay. As a verb, I love. Yeah, I love. I love. Uh, dude, it's so funny. <laughs> just thinking about awesome. that song was just at the end of Spider Man and vaguely 9/11 adjacent. Yeah, 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 like yeah. It, oh, like it's, it's super not, 9-11 adjacent. Yeah, but it wasn't written for 9-11. You know what I mean? It's just It just was around that time. So it's like, it's this accidental... It, it would be like... <laughs> it would be like if most country songs about 9-11 were written on September like 9th or something. Yeah. I mean, just like the sheer coincidence <laughs> of it would be... would be Is astounding. Um or like that George Carlin comedy special they recorded where it, 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 the, the title of it was I kind of like it when a lot of people die and it was Aired recorded right day, before right day <laughs> before I still I have that record still and Amazing. I I, I b- blows my mind that that's real <laughs> what uh, a fucking coincidence I really like planes planes hitting into buildings you know I like everybody planes. I like <laughs> <laughs> Come everybody, let's watch planes with me. <laughs> Wouldn't it be weird if a bunch of planes hit some buildings? Say the World it's Trade Center. And, it's lots and lots of jets and planes. Stop. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember those commercials? <laughs> no. What is that? You know, there, there are these like there are these infomercials about like basically DVDs of vehicles, and I'm not even joking. They would come on at like. 11 at night on certain channels they'll be like it's lots and lots of jets and planes or it's lots and lots of tanks and trains and it's just dvds full of videos like presumably like dot mp4s of just (laughs) trains so i'm not even joking look up (laughs) look up everybody if you can look this up lots was this when they just discovered autism is that what that is they're like i think i think that's not because because i think because i've heard it's autism it's two you either love sonic or you love trains. <laughs> it's the only. It's the only. It's either or. Yeah, look. look, look so, okay. Got, okay. I, I found it. So lots, of of, lots, lots and lots of Jets and Planes number one full show. It's 50 minutes. And it says, you'll love it. The description, I guess, is from the, back, from the back of the DVD, but it's just kind of in the description box of the YouTube thing. It says, mm. you'll love this incredible collection of aviation action. You'll twist, tumble, flip, and scream through the skies at death-defying, sound-breaking speed with some of the hottest Top Gun and, air, uh, and aerobat- oh, aerobatic. That makes sense. Aerobatic stunt pilots in the world. There's aircraft carrier action, jet demo teams, jet fighters, warbirds, air show wing walkers, float planes, jumbo jet airliners, prop planes, ultralights. I don't know what the fuck that is. Space shuttle. (laughs) <laughs> DC three and more. See historic aircraft at the at the National Museum of. Air- oh, so I guess it's like a museum uh, ad. I guess, mm. but like it's just yeah, it's just like a clip. It's like America's Funniest Home Videos with no narration and just footage of jets. <laughs> that is, That's that insane. is literally. I'm wondering when how what year these came out because does it say? It says distributed 2010, but... Oh, oh, so this is well after... Oh, so this probably lines up pretty well with, like, people really starting to understand neurodivergent people. And, like, Stop. uh... And, and then they... Stop. They started, yeah, like... 2010, 20, we don't 2011. Have any, we don't have any content for them. Let's get <laughs> trains and planes or whatever the fuck. Derek, you have to, like... There's part of this has to be in the like I can't like I just put it in the chat. This is the this is the commercial. It's it's one minute. It's like fifty nine <laughs> seconds. But that like, is it's a just, long nice. fucking commercial for <laughs> lots and lots of jets and planes. I remember really wanting them, and you guys are making me feel like I have to question who I am. 
because I remember really wanting them, but I'm like, nah, this isn't important. You're but like, now I'm like, oh, lots, <laughs> yeah. lots of jets and planes. What a crazy voice. <laughs> It is what like I remember it so vividly just because he was so excited. Like it was like it was like, but he was ex- he was excited in the way that somebody would be excited for a clown to enter a room. <laughs> that's what was that's what was so confusing to me. It was just like like here they come. It's that's a plane. Like, who is this <laughs> you're like here what towards? Who is know. this for? <laughs> Because, like, you, you what the voice you would want is the cool, like, you know when the, the, there was the guy that would sell the action figures? It would be right. like, yeah, there would be this kind of voice. Like, you, you would want this, lots and lots of jets and planes. You would want it to be sound cool. And then so then, the, the you know, the guy that's sitting in the, the armchair veteran, the guy that's not a real veteran, but he always wishes he yeah, was, yeah. like, yeah. he's going to buy that shit. Just, aviation oh, action. Like, look at you those. know, aviation yeah. action now. <laughs> But instead, you know, they would be like something like that. But instead, it's like is juggling and announcing yeah. shit. Lots it's lots crazy. Of just the <laughs> Whoa! Watch dude, a I remember Boeing real, 747 really lose its one, door dude. mid-flight. <laughs> oh, the, oh, Open the door mid-flight. That's crazy. <laughs> There's jets, I would watch that. little planes, tiny planes. It's it's the it's like zoo pals. Almost. <laughs> it is the fucking crazy. It's one of the craziest commercials I've ever fucking seen. And I remember to this day. There was another one too. It's like lots and lots of something tra- and, and trains or something. I but like they I had have... so many. Lots and lots of trains. What was it called? I think the one. The interesting thing is the train one sounds vaguely familiar to me. Lots and lots of trains thunder semicolon thunder on the tracks. <laughs> what the fuck? Zoo is the commercial the same? Eating fun. Zoo, it really is a fun. zoo palace. Like a <laughs> zoo palace <laughs> style look, delivery. Is. Hey, did you look at the comments of that video? Uh, the commercial. Look, there is one guy. There is one guy named Jason Singh five four eight five that commented three times, and I think this is authentic. Where it says, I like planes and helicopters and a bunch of emojis. And then he comments again, I like jets and planes too, a bunch of emojis. And then jets and planes are super cool for emojis. <laughs> and I'm like, it's just, so, I'm like, is this, so, I think this is geared towards a certain type of person, man. Dude, Shut the, the lots, fuck up. Dude, Shut so, up. The lots, so listen, listen, the lots and lots of trains commercial yeah. starts off. <laughs> hey, fuck you. <laughs> you want a fucking train? <laughs> you hey, tra- fuck you! <laughs> you want? You like trains? You like fucking trains? Hey, hey fuck you! Imagine, <laughs> imagine this train. Uh, no, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you got him! You got him! Are you okay? <laughs> That's the fourth time I almost killed somebody. Don't die. You're going to miss the trains. You're going to miss the trains, bitch. Oh, my God. Bitch. This is so embarrassing, bro. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Quit choking on that water, you dumb asshole, and watch the trains. We got so much of them. <laughs> Fuck you. Stop suffocating. Look at this train. <laughs> Look at this fucking train. <laughs> Have you seen a train like this? No. Not today. Look at this train. <laughs> now they, so uh So it starts bro. off. <laughs> it starts off. With the train, like, going, the train's coming towards the camera, and it goes, choo-choo, and it goes, here they come. (laughs) Of course it does. I love it. I don't watch this. (laughs) Oh, my God. Why is this? But I was watching, so I was watching the, so when you said, hey, fuck you, right? You said, hey, fuck you, right? Yeah. When you said that, I was watching the video, and it lined up. So, like, when you said, hey, he said, hey. So, I thought the video really was, hey, fuck you, for a second. And it really blew my mind for a solid, like, four straight seconds. I feel like that's how you get people to buy shit, though. Like, if I had people... I once saw one of those memes on Facebook, probably 2010 or something, where it was just selling a... a, It was, like, a, a metal fan. It was, like, an industrial fan. And the way that it was advertised, obviously, it was Photoshop, but... Someone just like this is a really fucking cool fan, three fucking speeds, and it was just like just cussing and <laughs> just basically saying all this crazy shit. And I was like, "Damn, I actually would buy that if I saw that shit on a box." Like, someone just like yelling at you. <laughs> You're like, "Oh fuck, uh, I want this." Hey, and fuckhead! <laughs> <laughs> you buy this? What are you dumb? Why don't you have this face? already? <laughs> Own that's this fan now. Do. That's that's kind of what I would do with with the sponsor things that I would do. Is that yeah, I would right? just be like. Yeah, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. And they would let me do it, thank God. 
Uh, I think they understood on some level that it works. I just heard it. I just heard it. Dude, it's worse than you didn't really describe it well. The way <clears throat> you know they come. It's so <laughs> ridiculous. He, I can't even get to their level of ridiculousness. He, here they go. It really, it really Whoa. is insane. <laughs> it's like you're half expecting, you're half expecting the fucking that clown music to play. Totally. Like it really does feel like the circus or something. Not that I've ever seen a circus, but like the, it sounds like a fucking circus. Dude, I, I'm losing my mind. This is. So I was watching. I was actually watching some this. old episodes uh-huh. uh, of uh, just cycling through them. Uh, of our show, oh, and mm-hmm. there's. Do you remember the one where we, uh, where we fucking, I was, I was recording from Kingston's closet. <laughs> oh yeah, or whatever. Yeah, we were talking about, we were talking about roaches and how, like, uh, I think it's, uh, I, I, I don't care if they're tortured at all. Right. And and y'all were y'all a little were being crazy. Everybody like, comments unanimously on my side. Unanimously, like you like basically, you know, it was it's kind of difficult I, it's to like, find. I'm not bothered by you killing them. I'm bothered by the way you talk about killing them. That's where my thing comes from. Like killing them, mm. obviously exterminate them, eradicate them. Obviously. The right. way you talk about it, that's where I'm like, nah. I don't know, man. Someone's I think, got I, more. I, jo- I, again, someone's got I, more I, I default, genes than others. You know, I default to my previous. Uh, obvious argument where it's just like that's the language of people who haven't had to deal with them it's the same it's the same thing as it's the same thing as people who like hunt deer and like we're just like oh but they're so cute how could you do that well it's like they're fucking passing they eat everything and so like i'm gonna kill this deer yeah but they just shoot shoot so much worse you like want to fucking if i want to shoot them them i would but you can't you have to like genocide them on mass like it's the only way to do i don't like extermination the gas you know you put the bug bombs like get get kill them but the way yeah. that you describe it, it's more of you like, like almost enjoying the like it's euphoric killing them. Yeah, because you don't. But you that's don't, not you, what this people is, you get don't from deal killing with. pests. You, they don't get like I said, yeah, euphoric. They don't get to a state of like, damn, this is good. Fuck these people. I feel good because I hate these so much. It's like yo, you're I kind feel of, good because I'm solving a problem. I guess. You know, and it's and I and there's oh there's one less of these fucking things that I have to deal with. You sound like, I don't a, think co- you, sound, I, you sound like an I NY cop. You sound like, <laughs> I mean, like I a New York cop. <laughs> I mean, you, but I but that's the thing. It's SS, like you are the but, but that's the thing. Shit. It's like you are the people comparing real people to roaches when you make that comparison. Yeah, yeah, because like, everybody's a roach to me. That's what you're doing. <laughs> that's not what I'm doing. I'm treating a roach as a roach should be treated with no respect and no dignity no because that's what a fucking roach is. Yeah, I agree. Dig- it's just dangerous it is- to me, man, because that's what people do. They'll be like, "Hey, you see how we treat like these these pests, these these roaches." Yeah, mm-hmm. let's extrapolate that onto people we don't like. And but that's, that's what what's you happened. are doing by that. Like, it doesn't but even if you make show the nature leap respect, for me you can that never I would get ever... there, though. Yeah, not you specifically. Right. I'm not, I'm not worried about you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> but then what's I'm the, worried I don't about get the, the people in our comment section that you're, that the people are, these people, I don't know what they're, what well, might be the next hill in the comment section right the there. The thing to me, it's like, I think if you, if you don't get satisfaction from killing roaches, then you, I, I think all that really means is that you haven't dealt with them in the capacity that I've had to deal with them. Disagree. That's all that means. I that's, that's because I think that if you did, if you've woken up with them on your fucking face, that's then crazy. You would. That's insane. You would. Yeah, obviously, obviously, you go into blind rage at that moment. Obviously, I've. Uh, so not on my face. I think they're the ones that uh, in Arizona they were too bitch made to be on your face, but they would try to be on your socks and stuff. It would be or your feet, I guess, but I'd wear socks, obviously. It was uh I felt really bad because it was my mom's apartment. My mom hates pests, like completely our house was never anything in it, right? Because she would kill us. And uh so she got one apartment, and then unfortunately, you have fucking neighbors that are disgusting pieces of shit, and then there was just hundreds in her fucking house. In her apartment, sorry, and then she of course she broke the lease. But like I was there for a while helping her move and stuff, and then I slept there for uh, like two or three days, and it was a fucking nightmare. I <laughs> it was a fucking so rough, man. I get it. I get the because I know I load them, but I actually I have more of a uh, maybe. Here's the funny thing, Chris. I think I would feel. I think I would be completely in your corner if you were talking about mosquitoes, because I think mosquitoes like that's to me that's the real. Like, they actually, they spread fucking diseases. Like, deadly diseases. 
They're, they're so like and of course, head. of course, uh, um, you can also get catch diseases from um, um, uh, uh, cockroaches too, but not yeah. in the way that you know these stupid things are sucking your blood and transferring fucking diseases. It's such a, it is. I'm like, I don't, what is, if God's real? What is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> I guess the thing for me, God's real. What is wrong with you, bro? I guess the thing for me is that ever make anything like this. (laughs) Mosquitoes do suck. I don't like mosquitoes either. But to me, it's just like I've never had to deal with mosquitoes in an invasive capacity in a Mm. way that wasn't explicitly my fault. If I've ever had to deal with mosquitoes in my room or something, it's because like, oh fuck, I left the window open and the screen door wasn't on. It's like, god damn it. Uh, Or like, oh, there's standing water out there, and like, oh, I know that they're gonna come from there. Roaches, it's a crapshoot because you really have no fucking clue. Sometimes they'll show up in places that, like when we moved into that apartment, it was clean as fuck. There was, we had no food in there. There was nothing and they were still there. And it's like, what the fuck do I do? And then you eradicate them and then they come back. Whereas mosquitoes, at least they go away for a while. You know, like it's just like this, this persistence and this. This inability to pinpoint where they are because they can crawl in and out of your like mosquitoes they have to fly around like they're they're typically they're typically right. not hiding. If you but have like, roaches are like yeah. they're in the pipes they're in like a fucking crevice that you've never seen before they're like in a screw they're in a table outside in the legs you know like they're they're fucking they're sneaky pieces of shit. It's man. hard to like, deal I, with them. I hate man. them it's so hard much. Hard to deal with them. Yeah, that's the one thing that makes me that's always made me worry about having um. An apartment, like, because I've I've lived in two, um, uh, like I got my first apartment back in two thousand seven, and it was all right. It it was it was cool. My friend was a little dirty that I was living with, so there was like a handful of roaches try to come in, but you know, just kind of dealt with it. Uh, the other one was cool, but I always like you said, like you said, a crapshoot where you can just literally move in, and your fucking piece of shit neighbor can be filthy as fuck, and all of a sudden they're they're gonna come from his apartment into yours, and right. you can't that, do anything I about think that's- that. I think that's what happened with us. I think because like, sure we did, there was no reason for roaches to be in that apartment. Whenever you live in yeah. a downtown area, man, you're gonna run into that shit. You can't, you just can't help it. You're gonna run well, into it. Well, it's gonna... usually because like they'll the apartments a lot of times will deal with it, but then you can't. If there's some piece of shit that just a hoarder or anything, they will ruin an entire section of the apartment just them alone. And it's yeah. like now, what do you do? Now there's nest everywhere, and it's just like it's it's fucking it's frustrating. So like. How do you vet these people? You like a lot of times they'll, you know, they'll do the whole thing where people try to, they 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 have a front, they try to pretend yeah. like they're clean and shit, and, and then all of a sudden mm-hmm. they open their suitcase and then all of a sudden like two thousand roaches, roaches pour, pour out. Pour yeah. out. <laughs> their suitcase like, is just I, roaches. I, we're holding I made a specific, it and they open it is just roaches only. <laughs> and it's like, what specific, is your problem? <laughs> I made a specific effort to avoid uh, apartments with things that I think like could be like vectors of entry mm. like so like when i got this apartment i was like oh no dishwasher good oh nice get yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah. dishwasher out of here i don't need a dishwasher <laughs> i have a dishwasher they're called my fucking hands my hands it's so stupid that i would need a dishwasher yeah uh and at every time they would come, do you remember kingston that, that they would like be in the dishwasher they'd be down the drain it, every anywhere there's water anywhere there's water yeah but the sit, dishwasher specifically roaches. the dishwasher specifically because like people don't know how to use dishwashers first off you're not supposed to fucking throw plates full of sauce in there yeah. <laughs> you're supposed to you're supposed to do like a at least a decent rinse you're supposed to basically wash them you almost wash them yeah that's why which I is why i don't pointless. which is why i never understood which is why i never understood it's like why am i gonna like scrub it to the point where there's like barely any food on here but not so clean that like i have to finish it why wouldn't i just finish it yeah. and then just like the dishwasher has always been like a drying rack to me whenever i've had one um so like i'm not but like the food gets fucking caught in that thing and then like the, the roaches come and they're like Mm, thank you, thank you, you dumb human. Yeah, thanks for feeding me, stupid, stupid idiot. <laughs> hey, you, you like trains? Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's lots and lots of pests and roaches. <laughs> lots Dude. and lots of come and steal. That's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Here they, here they come. Here they All come. the roaches your heart can desire. <laughs> the small ones, big ones, fat ones, <laughs> that juicy ones, terrifying. ones that fly, ones that slither, <laughs> that ones with no legs, terror. paraplegics, blind paraplegics. ones. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking roach in a wheelchair is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Get roaches into the Get into the, the the action of pestilence with this great compilation DVD box set of lots and lots of pets, pests and roaches. 
Lots and lots. Dude, of anyone vultures. anyone that buys that should be like just shot. They should be wrangled up. Like if it, literally that's you how buy you, it and then you open the door to get it, it's a guy with a fucking sniper <laughs> two rifle, two inches, ants, and he just <laughs> mosquitoes. <laughs> you have to. That's the way you call the population of just absolute fucking deviants of anyone that would want to watch that. Like no, do you delivery think, guy do you shows think, up? Call like, now and get an extra copy of lots and lots of common junk. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Do you okay? No. Do you <laughs> think, guys? Yeah, serious question. Serious question. Is that do you porn? think there's a certain point where you should like? Do you think there's a certain kind of person that should be called? Like, you think like at like at an at event, eventuality in human history, um, will there be a kind of person that needs to be put to sleep? I don't know. Unfortunately, I think we're we're going to move. Probably. We're moving further away from that, where uh, we're trying to accommodate every type of person. No matter how, like, um, you know, say you can say, oh, it's very inhumane that you want to call um, uh, pedophiles or something like that. But then there's because there's other people saying, well, I don't I'm not for uh, the death penalty or anything like that. So we just maybe we should find them a place and rehabilitate them and all the shit. Like we're, we're getting more towards those levels. And I'm like, I, I, ah, I'm a I'm person that, that firmly believes decent. in rehabilitation because I've seen rehabilitation work, but never not on the pedophilic side. Right. That is the one where it's like it's the it's hard argument. Dicey. Yeah, because I've seen murderers be rehabilitated into good people. I've seen right. that personally. For, yeah, th- but, it depends but on what that, type of murderer but, they are. But absolutely. it's different. It is different. It is a different thing. It's kind of like to me where it. I mean, it's, it's kind of like the difference between like a rapist and a murderer, where it's like there's no real, there's no real justification in any. Like there are there are points in times where you might find yourself in a situation where you would. You might take somebody's life, yeah, and yeah, but that's, so not not enti- that's not murder. And it's right. that's no, killing. What, it's, they, they vary, right? But understand what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I understand, uh, right? But when I, when someone says a murder, because people kill people, when you say a murderer, that's a different kind. Character. Right? Okay. Right. The, I'm talking you know? about. The, I'm talking about the base. The base of the action. Of killing is somebody. Saying. I think the action of, of killing somebody. There are times where like it's genuinely either an accident or nobody's fault or just like. You had to do it, you know. Like, there's th- th- those situations exist, but like, there's not really that situation for like a rapist. Like, yeah, there's yeah. no situation where like, oh, uh, oh, I was raping in self defense. It's like, it's not, that's not a real fucking. <laughs> that's not a real thing. And so that's that's kind of like the pedophile thing to me versus a, a murder, where it's I like, was raping yeah, in I mean, you could rehabilitate a murder, but like, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't. Um, it, yeah. It's hard for me to imagine that you could rehabilitate a pedophile because to me, like, I would almost imagine that being like. Almost on some level conversion therapy, wouldn't it? Because I like they are, depends. they have a mental problem where they are, they are, they're attracted to something that they that they it's not that they're choosing to. It's like their, their brain is doing. It. Who the fuck would choose this? I get so like the, the so, thing. The thing is this. I right? need it, more it's data not so on much, that. It's the idea for people that are that have the urge that you can help them understand it's not okay. Well, they know to it's act not okay. Upon it. They know it's not well, okay. No, well, help the them not that, like help them understand not to act on it. Um, it's that. I feel, yeah. I, it's well, not it's, like, don't do I, it. Because once it's done, it's done. That's the well, problem. See, I think the problem yeah. is I think most of those people understand, just like people that kill, people that murder, they understand murder's bad, but they do it. it, it it's more of a telling somebody. It's like in the way that when people try to do blanket statements of, uh, oh, teach young boys not to rape. Um, the vast majority of the people that are committing sexual assaults, rapes, whatever, understand are one hundred percent understand what they're doing is shady as fuck. And so yeah. the thing well, is, think, for I certain that, actions, th- hold on a second, hold on. Yeah. So for for uh, I guess for certain actions, it's like, do they deserve rehabilitation? Is really the question for certain actions. Like if you do rape somebody versus you killed someone for a specific reason, right? Whatever it is, like you can. All right, yeah, let's get over this. Maybe we can talk about it. But raping is like. Do they deserve it? I don't know. Do they deserve to have a second chance? I don't know. That's. I think a lot of people would say yes, depending on who the person is, right? They, oh, let's give them a second chance. I know this person versus some scumbag that has somebody they know got raped. Then they'd be like, no, kill that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's yeah. my thing. It's the action. Once the, once that action is acted upon, it's very fucked. You know, it's very fucked. That once you you because like if you have the urge to do something because like. Because some people have violent tendencies in general, right? Some people have violent tendencies. Yeah. Like, I know I'm, I, my nature is a violent, I'm a nature of a violent person. <laughs> I know I have that in me, but I choose not to act on it because my grandmother taught me that you shouldn't be just angry all the time. You should learn how to calm yourself down. So I choose yes. not to do it. But like, it's, yeah. 
it's still very much so present in me to be like a very angry, aggressive person. So that's where that whole argument yeah, gets yeah. like very, you know. It's it's uh, it, it's it's iffy. It's because it's like, what do you 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 want to you want to be empathetic, and you don't want people just cold because that sounds extremely barbaric. It does, but then at the same time, you got to <clears> think <throat> about this, and this is where the shit gets a little sketchy, and really maybe even inhumane is that a lot of if it is if say it is um I don't know enough data I I, I don't. Let me be real. I don't really want to study pedophiles, that's so I don't really yeah. know the data. Yeah, real, like that's so, because I wonder. Safe real statement. How many of the people that have been studied that it is proven that it is a like chemical imbalance? It's a genetic disposition or something like that. And they're they are they are attracted to them and they can't help it. Versus some freak who's like, I just wanted to take the innocence of a child and that gets me off. Like the you know like what what are the numbers of that? Because if it is something that is so like this is just genetically in something, it's like, well, what do we do? Like, it, is there can some neural advancements? What is that stupid shit that uh, Elon Musk is putting in monkeys? Oh, the Neuralink or whatever? Neuralink. Yeah, like at some point, will that actually be improved to where you can wipe that shit out? And then would that be immoral? Because, oh, you're you're forcing, I don't know, fuck, it's, it's so complicated. I just say nuke them. Just, just every, just, just I everyone. just say nuke just, them. Just everyone. But let's just, it's too complicated. Let's just hit reset. Derek I think that's Blackman, fair. Nuke them. <laughs> nuke them. I think that's fair, nuke though. Nuke them. <laughs> World's fair. getting a little weird right now. I think maybe, what, what, what we talked about that. Putin um, belly flopping on all the, all the missiles. He just, he hits all the buttons, sends them all off. Qu- he hard reset. Tummy plop, he just tummy plops on it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Just it's hard reset. Awesome. Let's get, some, get some more questions. Oh, yeah. Do we... F- well, let's let's okay go 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 go. <laughs> uh, drip mh Lord of Homeless Drip because how's it going, Tanky? It's not a question. Just wanted to talk about a slight misconception that got brought up on the dictatorship extra ammo, which you mm. can see on the Patreon if you go over to patreoncom slash Uh Because whoever told Derek that it took over 100 episodes for One Piece to get good must have been a dimwit, a goober, a daft fool, even. <laughs> Uh, it feels like something I wrote. Don't don't you can't talk uh, to One Piece fans about anything. in in reality the series just has a, in the reality series just has its first iconic truly exceptional moment a few dozen episodes in. I think it has a great really moment, but like you can't talk to them. They're not they're not there anymore. I do think that's a funny way to. I, I do think that's a funny way to soften the blow though, because like a few dozen episodes is a lot of episodes. There's still a few that's, dozen is technically seventy some episodes in, isn't it? A few dozen is into like, like season going three by, of Breaking Bad. Yeah, because if you're going by what a dozen and a few means, because a few is more than two, so let's just do that the minimum three and a dozen three is dozen. twelve. So is it at least seventy some episodes in? Is that what he's saying, or is he just you, saying that as generally you, like? There's there's a when, bunch of great <clears throat> moments in One Piece from the beginning, right? The problem is that One Piece fans will watch anything. They it's it's become a part of their life and they've seen it oh, too few, much wait, that they'll thinking? say any moment from One Piece is great. I'm a One Piece fan, right? Yeah. And the show has done the same thing for 20 years. It's been the exact same layout of the show for 20 plus years. I they will say it's great to your face and then you'll watch it and you have your own opinions. But I no longer am on that bench. I'm like, what if you just peek? I'm like, no, it's not. Look, look, look can There's I say, much can I say this? Episodes, can I say this? Episodes. Yeah. He says, he says, uh, the first truly exceptional moment uh, happens a few dozen episodes few dozen. in. So let's just say, I'm going to say like 36 so a few dozen, episodes in. I'm going to say yeah, 36. So that's 36 minimum. episodes. Minimum. 36 episodes is the minimum for that. 36 episodes. And I would say into, 24. Into, I would say hold 24. On, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Well, let's just go. Let's just say the we'll bare just minimum. Say, a let's few just go de- by, 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 the, by what he wrote in. 36 episodes. That's when the first truly iconic moment happens in One Piece. Episode 36 of Breaking Bad is the third episode of the fourth season. Yeah, it's a lot. And I, think about this. Look, so that's season four of Breaking Bad. By the time, by that time, <laughs> there's been many, many, many iconic <laughs> moments. Yeah, look, look okay. In and, that and look, time. This is what I'm sh- saying. Sh- extrapolate this to animate. Uh, one of my favorite series is Gundam Wing. There's only 27 episodes. You know, like, there's, there's. And I love that. I love that yeah, about that very, series. Yes. Very good. <laughs> yeah, I think no. Derek, the argument is perfect. I think that is the perfect argument for it. Gundam yeah, Wing, just, older older animes would not take this long to be great. 
Yeah. They would just be great. It would be great shows. You know, there's plenty of shows that are reasonably placed that come out at a reasonable time that are just good shows. I will One say this. takes too long. It not takes too long. It's mm. too repetitive, and it is just the, it's the same show it's been since it's been a show for the most part. <laughs> Look, I will be fair. I'm going to be fair. I never thought I would say this, but I'm going to try to – I'm going to watch One Piece until I fall off. I'm just – I'm going to watch it until I'm like, I can't do this anymore because I've, I've tried that with many shows. Um, even uh, JoJo's like Bizarre show. Adventure, I, I thought like – I was like, all right, this is – it's fine. It wasn't – I don't know. I, 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 I'll I abandon many shows because I don't want to watch the entire thing if it's not like really captured me. I'm going to give One Piece a chance. I'm going to see what happens. I've never, I haven't watched one single episode, so I'm going to start from the beginning, though. I'm not going to do any of this like, oh, like people would say, if you watch Doctor Who, skip the first season. I'm like, no, if it the first season isn't fucking a banger, like even having even like an, a, an a, if you're saying it's dog shit, that's weird to me. I, I understand the first season a lot of times it's not the best season, but I feel like you can get some charming moment. It's like season one of The Simpsons, weakest season uh, by far, but there's still plenty of charming moments within that season. Yeah. So like I don't want to just skip it. Yeah, like, there's also there's also a difference between comedy and like uh. Yeah, true. Like I'm more forget very if a true. if a first season of a comedy show is not very good, like I kind of don't care that much. That's true. <laughs> like as long as it, as long as it gets better, especially but, if like, it's not like a linear show, right? That's kind of the yeah. thing. Yeah, like if it's that could kind of sometimes fuck things up. But if it's a situational comedy, a lot of times, yeah, it actually they yeah. can have a bad season. And it doesn't really matter. Yeah, the, like the first season of Seinfeld is like a mess. Like it's, it's like they, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Kramer's name is Kessler in it. And is like, it? The, yeah, yeah. Well, in the first episode, his mm-hmm. name is Kessler. He has a he has a fucking golden retriever. It's very strange. Is that the it's pilot or is that like fascinating? Yeah, the pilot. Oh my the, god, the I don't think I've ever the, seen that. <laughs> it's kind of fascinating to watch because it because that show different. becomes a cartoon at a certain point. Like that show becomes a fucking. <laughs> A Saturday morning cartoon at a certain point, and then the first yeah. season is just like very mundane, or like the like it's just like oh, I have a stock tip. <laughs> it's like a stock <laughs> episode. It's very strange, but but yeah, like in a show like One Piece, where like you're meant to go on this like journey. Mm. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a shot. All the people, all the One Piece people, we'll see and look at you, and then you can't. If I hate the show, you have to just accept it. All right, because I'm going to be fair and objective because I haven't seen. I literally have seen nothing of the show. I don't even understand. I just know it's pirates. That's all yeah, I know. I've never seen. Yeah, that's me, too. I've never seen a moment from it ever. Yeah. Uh, it's, it has some really great moments, man. I think it really does. And it I, has some really I'm going to say moments. this. A lot of you are probably going to get mad. And I'm going to say this. I have watched. I've tried watching uh, Naruto and I thought it was OK. I, I really I just thought it was just, I, a lot of people. I know it's their favorite thing. I even yeah, I was told to Google the the best fight or, or YouTube it or whatever, and I thought the fight was still just okay because I guess I have different expectations when I'm thinking of ninjas throwing down, and I was like, this is not what I thought I was gonna watch. I guess yeah, and yeah, so. it's more like it really became a lot more like Dragon Ball at a certain point for me. Mm-hmm. Like I remember, so. like there, it was just like this is not like I like Dragon Ball cool, but like this is not right. Like I remember, I really, I like, I really loved. I liked Naruto a lot early on. Mm-hmm. Like when it was like, the tuning exams was like, I, I, I thought it was fucking sick because they were like doing like they were fighting in this arena. They were like, you know, they were doing their power shit, but it wasn't. It was, it, it was still like, okay, they're ninjas. They're doing their jutsus. They're fucking throwing their kunai's or whatever. Okay. And then it got to a point like, I fell off of it for a while, and then my friend was like, "Yo, did you see the Sasuke fight?" And I was like, "Oh no!" And he showed it to me. And Sasuke was like devil Jin, like he became a bat. He's basically <laughs> like he turned into a bat, and <laughs> and I was yeah. just like, all right, yeah, I, I, this is not ninjas. <laughs> this is not ninjas anymore. <laughs> this is not it was already, it was already barely, it was already barely ninjas as it was. Right. But like I was like, okay, like it's it's still got the the accoutrements and like the it's it still feels like vaguely i get it like the 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 oh the 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 you know like I, <laughs> the fucking sounds and shit like okay Hell cool yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool i get it i like it uh but yeah 100%. i don't know it, it got crazy it and, got then, and apparently apparently spoilers for naruto but like apparently aliens happen in that show too so yeah uh, yes it does they're aliens so, I, so no whatever no way aliens yeah Remember so they, they 
That is okay. I mean, that that is a. I mean, I don't know anything about the show, but that still just seems like from the little I know, you fucking shoehorn the fuck of out of that. Or, or is it is it far fetched? Is it is it is it like insane? Because it seems it's, insane. It's like it's as far fetched as Dragon Ball going to aliens. You know. Well, the beginning not, of Dragon Ball well, wasn't aliens at all. Well, oh, you mean the, you mean the original Dragon show? Ball. Okay. It's, like, it's Dragon Ball. Okay, 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 it's okay, the same okay, kind okay. of jump where like Dragon Ball it fits better because you can make a reach because the Sun Wukong's a god. So you're like technic and there's a lot of there's a lot of like religious like godlike uh, figure like how do, I don't know how you how you say the proper word but there's a lot of like that kind of stuff in it. If you pay attention to the names of stuff and if you uh-huh. know Japanese mythology, there is a lot of iconography. I guess what it's called. I guess there's a lot of that in Naruto. If you pay attention. But we're kids, so we weren't. And we're kind of blindsided <laughs> by the fact, like, oh, there's gods now? And there's mm. a lot of, like, very Buddhist, like, concepts. So I, I could see... Are the aliens... Pro- uh, uh, are they bad guys? What are they? Like, what is... They're literally do, bad do you know? guys. They're literally yeah? bad guys, yeah. <laughs> okay, literally wait, one last question. One last question. How did they get here? It wasn't a ship, was it? Uh, Not 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 ship like Dragon Ball. Not a ship like a Dragon Ball. Like Dragon Ball, no. Not the same kind of thing. Okay. I just like I'm picturing like normal, stupid aliens coming down. And they're like, "Ah, oh, we want your shit" or something. It just seems like I know it, it can't be that easy, but it just I don't know. It doesn't it's matter. Pretty to me. simple. I'm- it's pretty <laughs> simple though. It's pretty like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. And it's like, uh, uh, I, I guess this is going on. Sick. <laughs> it's yeah. like, uh, I don't wow. know. I'm very it's crazy because. It's crazy because Ninjas and Aliens would have been a fucking cool show it sounds, from the start. It, I don't know, man. It's, it's it, it does every time I because I just feel like if aliens are able to make it to Earth, I think nothing could ever beat them ever. That's just how I always Ninjas. feel. The, <laughs> <laughs> the aliens, the aliens are almost human. At they're like you know they're, they're, if, you, if you have the power, Naruto, they're already aliens. You know that's what they kind of describe. But like one ancient alien fell down. Yeah. It bred with everybody and it made people that have the ability to use chakra and stuff. And then the ancient aliens showed up and they were like, We are here now too. Let's play basketball. Or let's whatever. Play, and it's like, let's space jam three. <laughs> let's fucking like, all right, I let's guess. get it. <laughs> it's it's little like the, one of those ones. It's like, all right, I guess it's happening. With uh with Nikola Jokic uh, uh starring Nikola Jokic uh Space Jam three <laughs> it with Naruto and the alien versus the aliens. It's fucked up, but I I'd I'd still watch it. I'd still have to check it out. <laughs> I'd have to see what that's all about. There's very few things I wouldn't watch, you know. I'm being yeah. very honest to myself. Yeah, that is true. Very few things I'd be like, I'm not watching. It's like Jake <laughs> Paul versus Mike though. Tyson. I'm going to watch it, even though I think it's the dumbest thing on earth. I'm going to watch I think it. It's it's so da- I think it's so wildly dangerous. <laughs> but I think it's like. I just. I, if, he be- if he beats Mike, I'm going to really. I'm going to really. Like, I'm, I'm gonna pretty go after sure him he's finally. going to. I'm, I'm going to go after him. Like, I'm not good. I, I'm not playing <laughs> I'm anymore. You him. know, like, I'm not. I'm not. Look, it's man, not funny anymore. It sucks. But Mike Tyson looks good when he's hitting pads and stuff. He looks awesome. Exactly. But like it's hitting pads. That's not it's, you're hitting. You're, it's not. It's not the same. There's synchronicity when he's training with his partners versus hitting somebody who's defensive and who's gonna hit back and who's actually very strong because he obviously takes steroids. Why wouldn't you if you were a millionaire at that level? Why would you not cheat? And uh, it, it, it and somebody who has a good fundamentals now. Boxing has been boxing for like what like six years now or something. It's a good amount of time it's to been, box. It's been, mean, a, it's been some time. He has some time under his Deontay belt for sure. Wilder being a power puncher and fucking uh, getting, I think, a medal. I think he got a bronze. And then he knocked out like 40-something people. Like It doesn't take that much if you have a decent advantage in a certain field. And so now you have the youth on his side, the power. He has fundamentals now. Mike Tyson is old. He sometimes uses the fucking cane to walk. And so I'm not like I'm I I don't have any I would love to be proven wrong. I, it would make me the happiest person on earth. Like it, truly. I'm not in the mood to see that. I'm really not in the mood to see that. But I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it regardless. Yeah. It, it, even I'm though I think it's mood. absolute dog shit, I'm going to watch it. It's on Netflix. It's going to be on Netflix. It's crazy. All right. I'm not in the yeah, mood. If, he be, big, if he knocks big him ugly, out, I'm going to freak the fuck pee-pee. out actually. <laughs> big ugly Jordan. <laughs> big ugly Jordan. Which Jordan? Peterson? Uh, big Ugly Jordan wrote it. He says, the Dear Snarklings, <laughs> you can pull two people from history and force them into a one on one death match. Who do you pick? Two people in history Musashi Ooh. Miyamoto and Attila the Hun. 
be That's fine. Crazy. I think uh, right. Miyamoto. I think Miyamoto wins. Well, oh, easy, unless, easy, what, yes, what, what, easy, yes. Nah. If mm-hmm. if they're doing just um, if they're just doing close quarter combat, he, he wins easily. But like, I say mean, if, canonically, if, they beat them. Like in Hososhima, does everybody thing, have they their beat tools? Mongolians. <laughs> but does everybody like one on one's different though? Like if everybody does does Attila get to have his gear? Does he get to have his horse? Because if he has like a horse, oh no, I, no I, horses. Obvious, that's okay. not fair. Yeah, so if we're just doing horses, like a one on one, you're gonna have Miyamoto a bow or some shit like that, and it's still right. not fair, you know. So I guess it's just because if you're just talking about like two, sword on sword, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, weapon you're, on weapon not, is not fair. You're not, yeah. So if you're just talking about yeah CQC, then that would you be guys have a lot of faith in you. Got you guys have a lot of faith in the physical prowess of the guy who made Mario. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you guys know who you're talking about. Right? <laughs> you guys know who you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, are you st- are you guys stupid? Like you not <laughs> That guy made Nario. You know he's not know? really he's not he's not in a right home about. <laughs> what are you on? What are you on right now? <laughs> I think I that would... he can win for sure. I, I don't know, man. Or or there's mm. like I want to see Abraham Lincoln fight like I don't know, like uh like I don't know. John like, Wilkes booth. What are you talking about? Like give him a nah, fair shot. It. Oh yeah, well, no, that's not a fair shot. I'm pretty sure he would fucking destroy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Again? No, nothing, nothing. I was just. I was Did just you say seal? Shit. I was just saying shit. Yeah, never mind. Let's forget it. Just don't worry wait, about it. No, do you mean like the British pop star <laughs> seal? I was just saying shit. Like, never mind. I was just saying shit. <laughs> that dude. Because <laughs> we're never gonna survive <laughs> unless. <laughs> Shut Get up and face me, face you nit. <laughs> Shut up and face <laughs> me, I'm Lincoln. I'm Lincoln. I would want. I would. I freed you, bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Face me, black. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would be curious. How do you feel like Martin Luther King would react to Bill Cosby? Like one on one. I think he would be very like from a dramatic perspective. Like, like what is the drama there? It's like, god damn it. I think like. You are making a mockery out of <laughs> niggas. I don't know what he. I don't out know. of all we've done, Bill, yeah. we thought you were one of the best of us. Yeah, because didn't he march with him? I'm pretty sure that was like I a thing. From what I heard, yeah, from what I, I heard, from what I heard, from what I heard, he let's, was let's the person that. that bought that. him the what you call. He's the person that bought him the mic that he spoke oh, with. Oh, I, I didn't Amateur know speech. that's where you were going with that. <laughs> from what I heard, I from what like, I heard. He got, he got a, the, when they found uh, Martin Luther King after he was assassinated, there was a Spanish fly in his pocket. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, the last person he saw before that was Bill Cosby. So he put the two and two together. Can you so, stop? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who, uh, I don't know who I would. Yeah, there's so many Maybe options. Maybe Adolf Hitler versus Harvey Weinstein, I think would be funny. That's, uh, <laughs> what if Hitler was any good at fighting? No way. Yeah. He was in the German military, so he might have like a little bit more than we think. But yeah, like not I mean, he much definitely more. learned fundamentals. But when you look at when you look at some of the people, like if you actually look at some of the soldiers on any in any of the just back then, I look at some of those people. I was like, wow, I could beat a lot of those people. Like it, it was just like kind of crazy. They they look like it is kind of wild. Yeah, little to no actual versus now where there's a lot of people that are basically being enhanced like super soldiers they look like fucking genetic freaks and you'll sometimes see some people at like an army office or somebody who's off duty or whatever the hell it is they'll come into like a chipotle or something and they're just like a fucking wrestler i'm like what the hell is this why are you so big you're just shooting guns you don't need to be this freak anymore but yeah. uh i read somewhere that like it's actually like really not beneficial to be like a large it's not like, you, you, like should, strong you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be because yoked. Like, you're just you're literally just a bigger t- like you, you need just, to be strong enough you need to be able to you need to be strong enough to be able to handle like the bare necessities of what you would need to be able to like lug around in combat and like do all that stuff but like being like fucking a six foot like five freak is like the worst thing that you could possibly be as an infantry. It's like <laughs> it's very very bad. Yeah, why do you think that fucking guy Pat Tillman? He got fucking killed by friendly fire because that guy was fucking huge. <laughs> they just like he, he literally took up the whole battlefield. Yeah, I, I mean, you think you... about how many you you. I mean, just basic when you think about how many stories people have of being grazed. You know what I mean? Just yeah. like. The creepy, slightest man. bit of difference in dimensions makes like such a massive difference. Did I tell you about my, so, yeah. my grandpa's head almost fucking got exploded in the Korean War? 
<laughs> well, no, were, you never said that. Yeah, so like I almost didn't exist because they were, uh, you know, they needed to b- make some foxholes, and the ground yeah. was frozen. So they started fucking grenading the ground to break it up, and chunks fucking went into his tent and and broke his fucking shoulder. So if he was just a little bit this way, his yeah, head would have just exploded, and I would not That's be crazy. here. I don't even know what the snark tank, uh, who the third person would be. <laughs> who would be? Who would be me? That's who would insane. Be if I didn't exist. It'd be crazy if you guys still know, got man. to this point because you guys already did. You did Snark Tank without me, so it's still possible that the Snark Tank would have became Existed. a mainstay for you still. But who would have initiated it? Um, uh, it would have probably been would it, me. You, would it, it be probably Jaylen? been me, Chris, and Lily? L- Lily? No, no way. <laughs> and then it turned into the piss tank over time. I was Yo, just why do you hate her so much, Chris? She's just a good, she's a regular I don't, girl, I'm just man. Saying, I'm, <laughs> What do you mean? I just I don't I just don't think that would have been a, re- a reasonable show to do. I think she would. I think she'd done great, man. <laughs> no, Lily Every episode, she has a real have, job. It makes no sense. She Lily, would have, Lily would have hated. She this has a respectable shit. job. Why would she do this? Why would yeah. she do this? What? what do you mean? This is a respectable job. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What are you guys on about? Yeah, definitely. Like yeah. when you when you make small talk with strangers, if you ever do it, like this is I, I did I tell you guys that I. Some fucking, some guy who was looking at my tattoos in the in the sauna, and I was like, oh, here we go. This guy's gay. But no, he was just like, hey, uh, do you know any artists? <laughs> I thought he was going to hit, because he was just like looking at me, and then I'm listening to music, so I always think it's insane when people try to talk to me in the sauna. But I'm like, I'm, oh, yeah, what I'm the fuck are you doing? Get so a, yeah. focused on just chilling, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> so this guy was like, hey, do you have any, know any tattoo artists, whatever? So we talk. And he's like, hey, so what do you do for a living? I was like, I just do podcasts. Like, oh, what's your podcast? And I'm like, I was like, well, dude, I need disclaimer. I need to like, because I know he's going to check it out now. And I'm like, I disclaimer of what we talk about and what we do. And then, by the way, my Instagram, because he wanted to, I told him I was going to DM him a tattoo artist. And I'm like, disclaimer, there's a lot of songs about me talking about singing about sucking dick and being gay. And, you know, like, it, it, it's just weird. You, how do you, you can't talk, you have to, you can't just be like, oh, yeah, yeah you know, I'm an accountant, you know, I'm an account uh, payable, you know, and you're just like, oh, that's good, that's nice. Yeah. I have to be like, well, hold on, I can't just tell you because I know you're going to check it. I should start lying. I should, I should basically just be like. Yeah, I don't know why you, I don't know why you, I, I, yeah. For some reason, it just doesn't come to my mind about, like, lying. But Well, now, I just say the truth, but I just say, I just say, like, I'm an editor. That well, that's that's what that's I smart. say. That's smart. That's smart. Yeah. I have said I'm a videographer, but that also kind of backfired a little bit. Oh, what do you shoot? I'm like you, bitch. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Like why? Why <laughs> can't you just keep you? it a small I'll talk, man? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes in lifts, I will make shit up. Like if if a lift if a lift driver will will say like, hey, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I'm like, I'll just say the first job that comes to mind, and then I'll see like how how well I can bullshit through that conversation. Yeah. Uh, be like, yeah, I'm an architect. <laughs> I'm an architect. Yeah, and he's like, oh, right that's there? crazy. And, and then he goes like, what, is, what, does that, what does that entail? You actually like design buildings? And I go like, well, there's like some people who like do more designing and there's other people who are a little bit more hands-on. I, I do like design work for like specific like yeah. subcontractors and stuff like that. Like I'll say that. Like, just, I'll just lie. <laughs> just start lying through your teeth. It's insane. That's awesome. Well, that's it's awesome. just it's insane I don't know. to me. You can do that. I, well, th- that people would even speak to, like the thing to me is like I have headphones on. I clearly don't want to talk, but like right. if, so most of the time this doesn't happen. Most of the time I'm listening to music and I'm chilling and they they understand what what time it is and then I tip them well. But like it's just like uh, sometimes they just don't care or maybe they don't see that I have headphones in or maybe hey, that, maybe I'm using my earbuds. Get ready for a conversation. Yeah, You're like, yeah and it's like we're I get start it, talking dude. about stuff. Get ready. <laughs> and I, I I get it. I I just like I I don't see. I just don't want to do it, and I don't want to explain all the shit that Derek is is talking about. Where it's just like, oh, I do podcasts. It's like, oh, what's this? It's like, oh, this is it. And then, and and then they're a fan, and then they know where I live. Like, I don't want <laughs> that's that. True. Like, that's true. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's, so, that's a good point. So, that's a good point. So, so to me, I'm just like, well, I'm just gonna tell them I'm an editor, and if or and if I remember to lie, <laughs> then I'll just kind of think of something, and I'll just see if I can. I'll see. I'll see how well I can improv my way into that conversation. And then it's, it's almost like improv practice in some way where it's like, yeah, you know, I fucking, um, I work for Peter Tillman. I work for Peter Tillman. <laughs> yeah, no biggie. Yeah. <laughs> no, big, no biggie. 
It's like not that Peter Tillman, another one. He's not the an, same one. An, you know? <laughs> another one. So you just I remember there was this one. one. I, I remember there was this, one. I remember there was this one where I told somebody I told somebody that I was uh, that I was an exterminator, and it kind of backfired at me because he was like, "Oh, I actually have a." <laughs> I have a problem with, with like uh, <laughs> our exterminators keep they keep coming and they keep exterminating, but nothing keeps they keep coming back. And, mm. and I've actually been looking. I was like, God damn! Oh, you should have made shit up. So first you get a piece of cheese, and then you're gonna get some sour cream. Well, I said specifically. Well, I said like I, I said pulses rats. I said specifically that. I said specifically like like I'm just I like I mean I just do grunt work. I can't like put in like a good word for you or anything. But like if you call the company, I'm sure they'll you know I, I can I can maybe yeah. fast track it for you. Yeah, if you call and then, bugs, be and then gone. I get, and then and then they're like, what is it? And then, and then I looked. At, I just googled like exterminators on my phone, and I just picked like one of the first ones that I saw. That's so you funny. You kind of be uh, noble. I'm I'm kind of getting other exterminators work, Loki. I'm kind of a hero. Hey, I mean, I'm kind of helping out small business. You should get a little bit of commission for that. You call my like, honestly, hey, I should, yeah. dude. I mean, whatever. I don't know. It's it's not. You don't owe strangers like any information about your life. Is kind of how I feel about it. So true, one hundred percent. You're right, but like, true. It's just <clears> funny. <throat> this is a funny situation that you're like. Yeah. Hey, what do you do? You're be- like, uh. <laughs> in certain scenarios, I'm okay. Like, say, I don't really, I haven't been, every once in a while, I used to have, like, a beginning of happy hour, go to, like, a bar, you'd have, like, a, a lunch and a beer or something in, in, in certain aspects, and then there'd be some, you know, chatty fuck. Oh, there's always a chatty fuck in the bar, and I just indulge, because I'm like, well, it is the one environment I feel like that is kind of designated for that. So I don't try to shut it down in a way that, like, if I truly, you wouldn't be, the, like, say, oh, it's one of the things, like, if you don't want to tip, don't eat at the restaurant kind of a thing. So it's like, if you don't really want, like, to, don't sit at the bar if you don't want somebody to possibly not talk to you. You know, go sit in a booth or go something like that. And uh, so I'll be like, okay, whatever, I'll entertain this. But because it happens every once in a while, there's somebody who's in his 40s without fail, you know, and then they just kind of like mention something they scan you and like how do i enter so you they would see you right now and they'd be like oh you in the army and immediately like oh well here we go <laughs> like, I, mean, I gotta fucking i gotta fucking dude i am i just remembered i fucking one time because I, I i just did not want to talk i was actually i didn't have my car yet um i got i got my license suspended uh, in arizona because i was a, a just complete idiot and I uh, went back to Cali to get you know things taken care of. I hadn't had my license back yet, so I was riding the bus to my girlfriend's house. And this was funny. Her birthday is on Veterans Day. I had some flowers, and I had this Army camo assault right this assault back a tactical backpack on that like some of the Army people use. I just bought it because it was practical as shit at a at a at one of those Salvation Army stores. And yeah. um, so this guy sees me in the bus, like, oh man, you like. He thinks I'm I'm by the Rose Hill Cemetery. I need to go over. So he thinks I'm going there, and then he's trying to like he's like oh you know like just want to say like thank you for your service. And I was like what? <laughs> I was just I was like ah oh, this is weird. And I could have just been like <laughs> no, but I was just like I was like yeah yeah man thanks. And I was hoping that that was gonna be it because I think it was like it's the shorter path is just to say thanks and then kind of leave it there and move on. And then to, he goes, yeah. what, what, what battalion? What division? <laughs> then it started getting. Well, what division were you? And, uh, did you? Ah, uh, yeah. Happened, my my great my uncle was a five hundred first or some shit. And it's like I don't care, bud. So I but I, don't I um, fuck. <laughs> I stopped I stopped uh I stopped wearing. So I bought three things from that store: a backpack, a hoodie, and these workout shorts. And I stopped wearing. I still have the workout shorts, but I don't wear them often for this very reason because it kept happening. This Marine's like, oh, I recognize those shorts. Blah blah blah. This is. I'm like, fuck, man. I just they're just good shorts. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. A so lady in the hat, dude. A lady in the store, and I, I did it again. She was checking me out, and she's like, oh, you like you're in the army, and I'm like, oh, like yeah, yeah. And then she's like, where'd you serve? And I'm like, God, shut up. So then I was just thinking, all right, my friend. You should have been I, like, you should have been like, I don't like to talk about it. I don't. Like, <laughs> I should have. When I'm on the spot, I'm, I'm not good at. I would have been I, smart. I would have been at, smart. I'm not good at lying, dude. So then I was just like, uh, my friend Lonnie was. Uh, he was in um, Iraqi Freedom, so he was in Fallujah and shit and all that stuff. And so I was just like, oh, uh, Iraqi Freedom. And I thought it was kind of stupid to say because I look so young. I was probably like 25, yeah. but I looked like I was 18. So she's probably like, you clearly how how you in Iraqi Freedom, like they would probably be <laughs> I was a like child soldier <laughs> mid 30s or something. Who was who, somebody that went there? But um, was she was Spartan like, "Oh, program. my husband, blah blah blah, was in Iraq too, and um, and all this shit." And I'm like, "Oh God!" And I was just like, "I gotta get the fuck out of here." 
This is like, yeah, I was there. I killed a lot of brown people. A lot yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. Killed a lot of <laughs> them, you know. Get the fuck I destroyed these hajis, you know, like props the to idea. your fucking yeah. <laughs> props the to your husband. You being like, the idea of serving I even like, ate oh, my a husband, few children. They're, they're, my they're husband sweet. served in Iraq. They taste and sweet. You, <laughs> and you and you being like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it was just like people don't understand small talk a lot of times. When it's just it, it was one time I thought this was the coolest thing. It was the, it was the best fan interaction ever, where you and I were walking somewhere, Chris, and a guy just recognized us and it was like a quick handshake and he didn't even stop. There was no stopping, and it was like I can't I think remember, I remember that. Yeah, I can't remember where we were going, but but we we're just walking somewhere, and there, he was just like, hey, blah blah blah, and then he just people up always and, talk to me though. Chris has witnessed it multiple times. People yeah. like well, people, you're a tree. I don't know, huh? You're a sequoia. Yeah, you're not easy to hide. Like you, you <laughs> yeah, can't. You're, you, sequoia, you're not gonna slip dude. through people. People like, want to talk to me, and it's like, why? Ew. You're a sequoia. You are a red. You are what do they call the the redwoods? You're a fucking giant. <laughs> they, and they I'm see also, you like, I always hey. have a bit of a smile on my face, so I think they're like, that's mm, one of the so safe they, ones. So I'm like, oh, I make my quota fucking... today. They go over and they <laughs> talk. They're like, they're like hey, how's words. it going? I'm like, hey, what's up? And they're like, uh, what do you do? What's going on? I'm like, nothing. I'm just, you know, waiting for whatever. And they're just talking. I'm like, please stop talking to me, person. I don't want to be rude to you. <laughs> please stop talking to me, person. I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be fair. Uh, if, if there is somebody that, um, someone that knows the show that knows us or something like that, and they want to stop by and say hi, I don't mind because I know at least whatever you're going to talk about is going to be in the realm of like understanding versus uh, the, the small talk person that's kind of trying to get to know you briefly where that's the one where I'm just like, I just don't, I don't care. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but you know, usually most anytime I've ever had a, it's so rare when I've had a bad fan interaction. It was mostly at the, the big meetup shit, like the VidCon type stuff or something. There'd be some weirdos, but just down the yeah. like the grocery store for whatever reason, there was one nigga I thought that was gonna beat me up or something because he was acting really shady. He kept like going by me, and I was like, "Is this guy gonna fucking beat me up?" Because I was wearing a mask too at the time, so I was thinking maybe he's like one of those anti-maskers. He's like, "Why are you fucking wearing this?" You, you know, I, I wasn't sure what was happening, but then he was like, "Are you, are you some black guy?" And I'm like, "Yeah, dude, you don't have to fucking pace around five times like like you're gonna we're gonna throw down because." What do you, what kind of what message does that send to you when someone keeps passing by you? You're kind of like people oh, don't shit, understand. What the fuck's about to happen? Dumb. People don't <laughs> yeah, understand. To, to, to be fair, that's the minority of my interactions. It's mostly just cool people. Like, hey, what's up? He's gonna Can hear get- this and then he's gonna find you and beat you up. See, that would scare me because he did see me at the neighborhood Walmart. Like, so it is like it's a possibility we run into each other again. He's like, oh, I heard you said nigga, and he just pulls out the big. You he pulls out feelings. that gun from fucking Batman one. That fucking Joker has to shoot down his fucking bat wing. He's just oh like, pulls out cable. He pulls out that, 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 that Magnum. No, it's just it's like just the biggest the fucking like Magnum, some type of Colt for I don't know what it was. I haven't seen. He, it. he should pull him. out. He should pull out uh, the cables gun from Marvel vs. Capcom too. Yeah. <laughs> Hyper Viper, <babe. laughs> the wiggly one. The wiggly one. <laughs> Vi- yeah, or you, or you can do Iron Man's one, the one he summons. It's just the proton cannon. Dude, the photon cannon. He calls cannon? upon Sorry. it. I love that gun. He's like, is it photon cannon or pro- it's photon actually, cannon? Yeah, photon. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Damn, it's been so long. Right, let's dude, get to I'm this, losing get to my this. memories. Let's get to this last question and then uh, okay. get on out of here. Gender bend, Chris Sweeney, and Derek cannon. can make them food. Wrote and he says, "Hey there, less, lesser, and least." <laughs> what is the first game? You actually finished. Proton I remember playing a lot of games as a wee lad, but a lack of skill in combination with my stupid uh, fucking dumbass kid brain prevented me from finishing anything for quite a while. Please mm. keep up this goaded podcast for the sake of our ailing minds. Thank you. Absolutely, baby. His profile picture, by the way, is that Game Boy Advanced. Uh, oh, um, hell Willem yeah. Defoe, I already know what you're saying. <laughs> which, that image is so really, fucking visceral. I love it. I appreciate I it. I love that. But, I'm uh, somewhat of a scientist myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I showed question. you guys that Chris's reaction, Dude, I've never was... seen someone so scared by an image in my I life. I don't remember. I don't remember how I reacted. I think you I looked it. at it and it looked you, like yo, you were trying so to figure funny. out if, like, it was like an ape looking at fire for the first time. It's like someone made this. Yo, can I say? Can I? <laughs> by the way, speaking of, because I, I definitely repressed that in some way, right? Because I totally forgot. But I thought for the longest time 
I didn't think that people actually repressed memories. You serious? Like up until recently, I really thought that mm. that was I th- I thought people were being like a little bit like exaggerative or like artistic with how they were describing it because mm-hmm. it, it, to me it's like it's almost like how like people describe their, their like when they're on shrooms and how like they see oh the craziest shit and I'm like I I've done shrooms and like it's 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 an emotional experience but I'm not like seeing demons crawl out of the ground or anything. you know what I mean like it's not it's not like any of the shit that I've heard people talk about when they're like tripping on shit mm. So I thought it was something like that where it's like, oh, I just maybe like forgot some details about this. But I recently stumbled upon a memory that I straight up erased and it messed with me like crazy. I was like, wow, I really actually deleted this entire memory and I didn't know that. Like, I didn't think that was possible. I mean, was it like a traumatic memory? A little bit, but like I just I couldn't I I, just, I was just baffled by this like I because I feel like I remember most of the horrible shit that's happened to me. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm pretty in tune with that. So to be like, whoa, I forgot all about this, and it was just like, wow, I, people do repress memories. I didn't think that I thought that was like kind of like flowery language for mm. maybe trying not to think about mm. something. I, I know yeah. what you mean. I, I'm getting what you're meaning now. Yeah. Okay, no, it's an evolutionary <laughs> advantage because the human race would not have survived without that ta- without that uh, that. F- trait that i guess or feature that. yeah like the amount of horrible shit that has happened all over time people yeah. would, they had to learn how to repress memories otherwise we would have died out easily it's crazy yeah, yeah. we are we are but, our, uh, brain, our brains are too developed to be able to deal with everything we eat. like imagine like and, and being in an old world and like a beast kills your your partner that is traumatizing right now we can like have people that can talk our way through it back then they're just gone. <laughs> they're just get gone. that memory, put it in your pocket, keep moving keep forward. It going. <laughs> keep, <laughs> keep it going. Keep it going. Like, yeah. oh, well, um, I got work tomorrow. Well, I got to feed this kid. <laughs> That's it. All righty. Yeah. All right. But first, as far as the question video game, goes, huh? Yeah, because it's a good point. Like, when I was a kid, I definitely didn't finish many games. I played them until I was, like, satisfied, and then I would be like, all right. Um, I would move on to the, either I would move on to the next one, or I just didn't. I didn't really play that many video games mm. when I was young, 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 young. I played I a lot, Pokemon but I know Gold. for a fact, Pokemon Gold, huh? Mm. Pokemon Gold. I know for a fact I did not finish any of the Nintendo games because of the legendary Nintendo hard, right? Like all the games were. When I think about how far I got into some of those games, I'm actually impressed with myself that I've gone back and tried to play like Commando and some other games. I'm like, how the fuck did I get anywhere in this game? You just get hit and you got to fucking start over. Like, what? what is that? That's bullshit. The idea, the idea of people <laughs> like, as children beating Mega Man games is crazy to me, dog. Like, yeah, I mean, it's crazy I, that I kids think, beat those games. I think I might have beat Mega Man 4 or I got close. I can't remember. But I remember Feral Man was in that. And that was a fun fight. But anyway. That was a good um, fight. I, I, have, uh, I have most of my memories were from oh, Sega Genesis where I definitely beat Sonic 2. That was one of my favorite games to beat, like beating the Mecha Sonic. I love I love that fight. And um, Streets of Rage 2, I beat a billion times. I beat that game fucking way too many times. Like, to where most people would be like, "It's this isn't fun anymore. Like, stop. But um, just shit on the, 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 the Sega Genesis, that it would probably have to be between those two is, like, as far as memory goes of those, maybe something earlier? I don't remember. Don't remember. But, yeah. Uh, th- those yeah, for I, sure. I don't know. I think I, I my memory tells me. My memory tells me that it was Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex mm. Strikes Back. I feel like that was because I never, I didn't get the first Crash Bandicoot game until way, 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 way later because I, I just played the demo that came in like a Pizza Hut disc <laughs> over and over again. That was like my first, <laughs> that was how I played Crash Bandicoot because I didn't have the, the, I didn't have the full game, so I couldn't beat it. Also, that game was fucking insanely hard. Mm. Uh, I love that but game. I, th- yeah. I think that was it because I, I think I remember like playing Game Boy Advance games and stuff like that, but like not really holding th- them, not holding my attention long enough for me to actually legacy, like Legacy of Goku. I, I couldn't beat. Mm. I got to that one cave on Namek, and I just had no idea what the fuck to do, <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, gave up on that. So there's a lot of games that I just kind of put mm. down, but I think that was I think Crash Bandicoot Two was the first time I remember like seeing the credits. Yeah. And assessing that, like, oh, mm. I, I have beaten this now. Mm. And that was probably, like, yeah. 1998, 99 or something. Yeah, I think, yeah, I still, I can remember I definitely wasn't games. beating Mario or anything. So when did Mega that. Man X come out? I got, I'm trying to, let me, let me make sure. Mega Man X came out, I don't, I wasn't around yet, I'm pretty sure. No, 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 I was around. 
Maybe like 98. Yeah, uh, Mega Man X is, that. is later. Before that. Um, let me see. I'm going to say 93. So uh, I think uh, it just beats out on um. 93. I was going to say. Oh, I wasn't just here yet. Beats out. I wasn't born yet. So 92, I think, is when Streets of Rage and Sonic 2 came out, if I remember correctly. Derek, you were born 88? Yeah. And so I okay. think. So I'm going to say it was either have to be Sonic 2 or Streets of Rage 2. And then probably Mega Man X right after. Because I was thinking, I'm trying to. I saw the credit. Mega Man X is just game changer for me. That shit. Get Mega Man X made regular Mega Man games complete trash for me. Honestly, they were so much cool. I don't think they were me all mechanically better, but they were way cooler. They were God, like I way cooler. And you got the how you got the show you can eventually if you got all the fucking yeah. secret things. That, that game was, was, just, uh, it was so cool, dude. You had to do a specific. Yeah, you had to be. You had to do something specific to get the sure you can. And that you thing had to get was the pieces. It only worked. Um, you get a Shoryuken, and you would get also a Hadouken. Hadouken and the Hadouken, yeah. it only worked when your when your uh, when your health was full, but mm -hmm. it was an insta kill. It was so it was crazy. Like if you can get to the final final boss, like when Sigma is the fucking wolf thing, and the paws are yeah. fucking rotating around, you just Hadouken you one his fucking head, and then you just, <laughs> it's so funny. You just yeah, one you just, doink him, and he dies, the, bro. <laughs> the only thing that it felt so. Um, uh, melodramatic, not melodramatic. It just felt so like uh, lackluster. The the Hadouken was so just like eh. he made no noise. It was so like and it was you know, slower Ryu, than your regular blast too. Whenever you hear Street <laughs> Fighter, they're notorious for announcing their moves, right? They're notorious for that. Is like I think that's where it started, right? I think it was that was the game that where people started announcing their fighting moves because the Hadouken. concept of that is kind of stupid. <laughs> it's kind of stupid to do that. So it's like even the, and you know I like that it still continues on even when things that seem completely unnecessary like uh, Luke saying rising uppercut or something where it's like yeah you can just do it you know it's not special you, you can just say right you can just uppercut not somebody not special <laughs> I really don't like Luke man I just not that I don't like I him love it's his, that he just he represents change his, in a way I don't like that's he's, all it well, is he's, he's so the modern because it's like karate's not cool anymore. And they're like, here's the what the kids are into UFC now. Like the kids are into UFC when it comes to like combat sports. So now we have this mixed martial artist. I don't really care about Luke, but his fighting style, I love it. I actually, I first when I saw, I was like, this guy's gay. Look at look at this Popeye ass nigga with this beautiful hair. And then, uh, but then I was I like, don't, oh, I don't shit. like it, man. He doesn't. He's I, too I, what you call it. He's not kicky enough. Like all the just, MMA I mean, characters, there's a little they have a little bit of kicks in there. He's just he's just like he's a boxer. Not I mean, like, I get it, I get it, but he's more of a he's he seems more, more like a, a wrestler. He's more of a brawler than a mixed martial artist. He seems like and a I wrestler don't like they boxer. Say he's a brawler. Yeah, like he even has that you know the the ground and pound uh, uh, the super art like you know where he's just, he seems more like a wrestler than like he's just straight up like a kickboxing god you know like a specialist. But whatever, who gives a fuck? But <laughs> who gives a fuck? because pretty much I, I the think, MMA fighters good. are the main Shoto characters. They are literally like the karate they use is so heavily mixed martial arts. It's like, yeah, I, I guess mean, we'll call I get them it. that. I think I think I don't know. My only bias was just the cover. The cover art, Luke looks oh, like a dumb shit. asshole. It's terrible. I'm just like I was like, you can't ever make me like this guy, but. I think he's he's fine. He's fine. I, I've come around. I think he's fine. Nah, never, I think, uh, never gonna happen. Yeah, he's just never, it's gonna, never happen. gonna happen. If they bring Sean back, I'll be very happy. Oh, they fucking do you see that they uh they patched uh they rebalanced uh, Ryu and he's fucking strong now. He fucking Ryu's always like, been he pretty decent, man. Is he like crazy now though? Well, he's just re he does a lot of damage now because because if you notice the people competing at the highest levels were not using him. Yeah, they, they were, doing, they were using It was Ken, JP, yeah, Luke. Jury, because Ken is so DJ. good at smothering, man. Like fucking fuck JP, man. Like they, the JP that I hate bosses. I hate fucking cheap ass bosses like that, dude. Where they just you're like in the wrong, you're in the wrong world, bro. Yeah, I know. This is the wrong planet, bro. That's they're everywhere, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? See, uh, whatever. I, I was just gonna talk about some obscure fighting shit, but it doesn't matter. I've been watching a lot of Justin Wong lately. I, I love his challenges. The where he's goat, like, gotta bro. beat this impossible shit. Beat this impossible shit, and I'll give you like a hundred bucks. I love seeing that shit because it's the 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 things that people would program are so fucking stupid, and it's like these are, they're just robbing people because these are in the arcades. It's insidious. It's insidious like, you're just nature robbing to be people. <laughs> yeah. What was the question? Oh yeah, wait, we answered it. We answered it. <laughs> yeah, we answered it. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Should we do one more or are we good? What do you think? Uh, what do we got right now? We're about yeah, two. We're about, just about two. Yeah, we're, we, should, we, should, we, should, we should start. Wrap it up. Okay. Yeah, we're going to yeah. wrap it up. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching or listening, wherever it is you're, however, however you're consuming this. Yeah. Remember, patreon.com slash the snark tank. You can support us over there. One dollar early access ad free, all that junk. There's other tiers there that you can research too. I'm not going to tell you because it's too late in the show. And most, if you're here, if the way I feel about it is like, if you're, if you made it this long into the show, you're probably paying anyway. I have to get into the use of saying, I have to get used to saying, all this stuff in the beginning. Mm. I have to like put a post-it note on my wall. It says, remember yeah. at the start. But uh, biggest month again. So, or so far. So, so thanks for all your support. Show Thank keeps you. growing. Uh, yeah, and it's hot. wild. Don't piss on hot. my Oreos. <laughs> I don't like them that, <laughs> that color. Make, that might if make them piss on my better. Oreos. I'll be pissed off. Wait, what like, did you say to me? It, huh? What did you just say? You said if somebody put a rose, they'd be better. Are you insane? I was just quoting, I was just quoting your your woman's. Stop, dog. You guys are hurting her feelings with that. Calm me down. Calm me down. Calm me down. I'm not doing it. Three, no, calm me down. two, one. There's no way one. she doesn't love it. She I'm not hurting me. your feelings. <laughs> she, she loves it that she's not. She's She exists now. This is a step up. She didn't yeah, exist sure. before for years. <laughs> is it better to not exist or to exist in piss? <laughs> Damn, that was yeah. the fucking that was Eminem bar, dude. Is yeah. it better to exist? Or not to exist, with, with, exist with the piss and I don't know. I swear, I if he's not on a song he wrote, bro, bag. he's really entertaining, man. I like Eminem's rapping. He's really good at it, but I just feel like he doesn't say anything useful anymore. Yeah, he's ran out of shit to like really. That's why I just think he should go back on drugs, to be honest. Like in you a know, song he I, makes with um. <laughs> The you song he makes with Logic is a good song. It's just him and Logic are just there rapping with each other. I mean, this is a good song. They're enjoying each other. They're just rapping. I like how they, that, they, and they have that sexual predator play uh, um, Logic, right? What's his name? Chris D'Elia? You're talking oh, about that song, God. right? I forgot that part. With the music, yeah, 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 like, <laughs> I forgot about that <laughs> part. Right. He's right, back, isn't down. he? He is. How that's what that council cancel culture is not real. Is if you don't leave, you can just stay. You can. yeah. And that was one of the that was one of the worst ones, wasn't it? That it was, was like, the worst one by far. So much evidence. So much. There's a nice like documentary style of some people put the things together. Worked with some of the victims too to get some information. Did nothing. Did nothing. I was like, this is okay. Like, I don't want to yeah. hear about cancel culture ever again. All right, coming down. Three, two, one. Car beeper. Black hole bum filled with cum. Won't you give me anal pain? Miguel O'Hara's Damn, trans mask. Pussy. La Tigre. McJackal. Icarus Ray Gun. And Gay Homo for this. Uh, this is real, not joke. I'm not saying because it's gay list. What the fuck? Uh, Cytherius Conjured Squirt Sword. Uh, excuse me, uh, my lady. Uh, is that gamer cum organic? Uh, hmm. How do you make the names longer? I won't let me that. Uh, Jack, the world's fastest Maori. Why did Me Too happen in 2015? Europeans just figured out bathing and now you're complaining. I still don't understand this. I saw, yeah, I need, I, I, uh, fun fact I need more time in France, they're gays saying, are actually you, referred you, you to as. Saying, he's like, fa- they just figured out bathing, bro. Me Too, <laughs> you gotta wait for things are gonna come in time to them. That's what he's trying to say, I guess. I guess, yeah. I, I see. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I assume so. Uh, I, I, yeah. Big meaty stinks. Andy the man whose handies are Esther and Dandy. Play with a man's balls like it's the NBA. Jeremy Coomden, <laughs> uh, my ass today. Heath playing hundreds, paying hundreds on Patreon not to use the benefits. Chris's progerian anal dwelling vestigial uh, twin wanting him to stop eating Chipotle. Yugi's Millennium Puzzle as the Hellraiser Cube. Um, uh, cringe gay cum. Stupid dog. I'm fucking bawling. <laughs> That's a wild. That's a wild thing for Eustace to say. Get out of here, dog! I'm balling. <laughs> Stupid dog! I'm fucking balling. Booga pooga booga. 
Homeless trans femme who comes, Aunt May gets the, uh, the free toaster, the good ending. Trad gaze on Dick Doc. Uh, Lil B, the base god, asking Selma cash money Dick for feed pics on Twitter. Serious. SpongeBob piss pants, Mr. Pants, make make gay loser baby, you gay loser babies. Footballer of the first sin. Spun butters, and then he fucked my face. Now I'm a cum eater. Smash boy's mouth. So dumb. Uh, <laughs> HP <laughs> Lovecraft writing a six page long in depth description of the ethnic horror known as Tom Sweeney. Jolly old dipshit. Down atrocious for lean beef patty. Nice. The real yeah. soul, mommy. She's mommy. Who's lean beef patty? I don't Look know. her up. The real, yeah, I don't know who that is. Uh, Look her the up. Lean, the real souls boss be, is I'm my crumbling upset. nervous system. Topher laser crystal. Uh, so, Topher Just laser crystal cyphergraph. If Chun Li had a penis, I would suck it vigorously. Goku, Go Chan, and Nigolo team up to fight Fur- Furza. Uh, uh. A uh, few times I've been inside that crack. I was not just going to pull out like that. No, I, I know she is. Girls, I know she is. To two girls. Gay Ronnie mm. Radke be like, good dicks, bad thighs. I don't know. Just something to piss him off. <laughs> uh, uh, nice. Lily drinking a fat glass of piss at 2 a.m. Nigiri Toriyama uh, got fucking isekai into the snark tank cinematic universe. Running Rab <coughs> and Lily's piss dealer. Back to tank of cum. Uh, <laughs> hey, y'all will leave container. my poor girlfriend the alone. Cracker. I'm dog. not doing. I didn't piss do any of this. Uh, she's the, she. If she didn't get so offended by that by that piss joke, none of this would have happened. That's my good poor point. my poor girl. <laughs> she would have been like, "Oh, I love it. I do more piss jokes." I'd be like, "Oh, it's not funny anymore." You, see, you got to reverse my psychology, poor lady, man. Dog. Y'all are just driving her to the floor. Well, just tell so her stop you, drinking piss and it's over, dude. Tell her stop drinking piss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you, you don't have the heart to tell her though, do you? She loves you know, it. She loves it so much. I can't take it from her. No, I can't no, be that she person. She doesn't love it. <laughs> she doesn't love it. She doesn't love it. That's okay. She loves Caucasian it so continue. much. I can't take that from her. She's so happy. She loves Don't her piss. Don't take my piece away from me. I'm That's Lily. <laughs> That's how her mom like- sounds, though. <laughs> her yeah. mom sounds like that. Lily sounds like she a sounds white like person. A, a, <laughs> her mom does actually sound like that. Though, Lillian? Lillian? Lillian, come here. <laughs> Put that piss down. Come here now. No, no, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump burping on Dom's clit. Caucasian container, the, girl, the <sighs> Caucasian container, the cracker bell for gays. Super Earth is just regular Earth without Israel. Marty O'Donnell is running for Congress as a Republican and went on Fox News paging Trump. <laughs> Uh, she pipkin on my pippa possum is the only empathetic response uh, or the empathetic person from li halo girls your daddy home did he go and leave you all alone i've got a bad desire oh i'm a file uh spirit box more like spirit cox i have a perfectly good pc but he's still calling his ps5 uh the hell divers machine and we're going to lose the farm help just the hard r star coffee uh so irish my my gramps is buried with a sniper rifle gay blade gay blade i like dick uh if you can if you can read one page of harry potter of a, if you can read one page of a Harry Potter book and then it's just the N word, that's it. That's what, that's what 50 Cent, remember? That 50 Cent challenging no. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. If you read one page of a Harry Potter book, nigga, I'll donate a first one in any country. He's like, I'll donate a quarter million in any charity you like. And I'm like, that's I, so disrespectful. That is a wild thing to say. <laughs> My son froze to death in the waste of Ohio uh, by going homeless uh, to pay you fucks. Now this is his memorial. Rip John, transfem gremlin, exposing people with lactose intolerance and 90 million rogens of ionizing radiation. You should not Vin Pen, Craig the Canadian. Food of porn is peak porn. Anyone who disagrees is an asexual piss drinker. It's your boy, Shawnee D. And the hunters are dominating Guardian games right now when Titans are getting gangbanged by warlocks and the hunters. I want a cock. I want a cock. I want two cocks by Twisted Sister. I live in Philly. Uh, where and everything you guys said is true. I once, uh, I once saw two homeless guys fucking near my high school. Keith David Voice, you're listening to ninety eight point three Smooth FM, the classiest station in DC. Up next is I can't open my car by Alicia No Keys. Three X O, letting people nice. you know, letting people know if you cannibalize Eugene Acuna, you wouldn't gain any nutrients. Slurp and stroke and smoke and joke and emoticons going like this. Drip MH, Lord of Homeless Drip, telling the cartel members uh, about to behead me that Goku would have been very disappointed in them. Obi won't you blow me? Jackson Vernon, Norwegian game dev, sexting like crazy. Kremlin to Gremlin, I'm a, I'm a big dog, big bear, fellas. I'm a lion. Uh, I'm gonna that steal looks- your bones uh, to give the Covenant back their cum. Come, come on, boys. You shake. You, you won't. Won't you shake a poor inward's hand? Uh, Avi. T boy, Joe Biden's boy pussy, DMX slip into an AO. I'm sucking, I'm fucking, I can't let up. AO, I'm sucking, I'm fucking, I can't let up. Uh, Wage Slay 583, a sad right. guy from Michigan. Also, maybe some of you masturbating. Also, one of you standing, maybe with your ass in it, maybe one with a butthole showing. 
Uh, the Papini brothers hold Derek's engraved glasses and uh, Chris's audio remote and Sweeney's foreskin for ransom. Donk Donkerson, th- 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 that bastard Curtis the Frog, uh, installing a faulty neural link in Chris's head that plays Thunder on repeat. You got to pay the troll soul to get in the boys' hold. Gate six, uh, Butterfly by Crazy Town. Come, my matey, come, come, my matey. You, <laughs> you're my pussy guy, drinking babies. Drinking uh, babies. He, he was looking for some cum with his finger in my bum with the shape of an L on my colon. My on your feet, <laughs> soldier, we are leaving. <laughs> Uh, yellow by Coldplay, but it's about Lily drinking piss. Uh, ah, help! Fuck an evil lesbian. Hell, uh, <laughs> got your shit fucked up. Oh my god, he's he's got your Justin colon Trudeau fucked up if it's shaped like an cosplay. Mr. Popo want cock addicted to the foreskin. <laughs> Twink butt is what I'm gonna come in. Can't stop by uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Help! I've got demons in the brain. Uh, in my brain, John Strickland. I miss the old Kanye goat, goat of the throat. Kanye pulls in the hole. Kanye drag on the drag on, drag on dance floor. Kanye. Uh, Merck's eighteen eighty nine. She called me Rowan Atkinson the way I missed her bean. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, the first church of Keith David featuring Chris's crippling Lisdexia. Uh, second church of Keith David featuring uh, being better than the first church of Keith David. Pre rise Blake eight nine six genderman Chris Sweeney and Derek make him fuda half black half Vietnamese person named. <laughs> What is it? It's good. It's 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 bitch n word, but like with like syllables missing. Oh. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> I, I get it. That's good. That's funny. Uh, as little, fuck. Bitch rag, little dick rag lost my job at Coles because they caught me playing with the mannequins' boobs. The last thing I feel tracks. I suck. BBC, BBC. You know me. Sue Hulk take all my ass hairs. Nikki Ziggy Kingston's dad. A cum crusted sock is great for spreading butter on toast. Wicked nine oh nine. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Badly brave. Hugger Derek Duck Hunt. The vegan necromancer. I got consent. Ethereum. Bridgerian. Puncher Muffles. One the angriest crowd from the, uh, enjoying the view from the Dealey Plaza. And as always, King of Hap Hazard. King of Hap Hazard rounding out our our list Woo! of top tier twenty five dollars. I have somebody's name Beach Knee guys. Hilarious. It's pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. Did Beach you know the? Qua- no, I'm not gonna say his name. I'm not gonna say his soul name. Forget it. Forget it. He lives in a place. Forget it. Forget it. Bye, guys. Don't don't fucking talk to me no more. <laughs>